screw it, we're live. Hi, everyone. I hope you're doing well this evening. Um, at the moment, we're just waiting for Smurf to get... Right now, we're actually in Smurf's pocket. If you see this black box to my right, that is that is Smurf. And we are walking around in his pocket. I don't even know if he can hear us right now. Um, but here we are. Hi, Smurf. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. How are you? Uh, well, pretty good. How's your pocket? Is it, Are we nice and cozy warm in there? I feel warm. Nice and cozy warm. Yay. Uh, while we're waiting to get started, <laughs> Diego, thank you for the thingy poo. That's weird. I don't remember. My brain didn't work. I couldn't remember what it's called. Don't be mean to me. That's a nice house you have there, Smurf, and now we're getting a tour of Smurf's house. I have to feed the cat, otherwise he gets mad. Oh. oh. Wow. Mood. Capjack, you've been subscribed content. for 22 months. Yes, almost Damn. two years. Wow. I love and I love the server, but your girl's a broke college student. So. No, no, respect, respect. Ain't nobody, there's no pressure here. No pressure. No pressure. Uh, all right, so I guess we're live. Um, hi, my name's Throck. Um, I'm also known as Sean, and I'm your DM for the evening. We're playing uh, uh, A Storm of Four, which is a Princess of the Apocalypse campaign. Here on Welcome to the Party, it is your Friday night D&D night. Uh, I hope you're all going to hang out with us and have a good time tonight. Um, I won't have Smurf go first, but before we begin, I want to give a quick shout out to our amazing sponsors, Roll20, your one-stop shop for all amazing virtual tabletop goodness. They have uh, a great market with pretty much every D&D module on it, um, every other main book D&D modules on it, and a ton of art from a, a bunch of different people. So you can go pay for amazing, like, good artists to give you tokens and things like that. It's pretty great. You should go check it out uh, at the link below, or if someone can hit exclamation point sponsors for me, it'll show up. Next up, Tabletop Loot, uh, your place for all sorts of fine gaming accoutrement, including dice. And if you go there right now, you can get 15% off your next purchase by using the code WTTP Dice. And last, but certainly not least, so Nerdware, our official merch sponsor, where you can go get 10% off your next purchase by using the code welcome at checkout. So Nerdware. It's what the nerds wear. Uh, and let's go around and say hi to everyone real, real quick. Uh, starting with Jago. Hey, starting with me. What's up, everybody? I am Jago. Uh, most of you know me as Don by now, I hope. I think. I hope. Maybe. Maybe. But who are you? Bob. Hmm. You're Ooh, funny. Oh, yeah, that's understandable. Um, anyway, tonight I play Lysander Ferex. I am a bard, half elf, and uh, hopefully this time I will not wind up on my back. Not in the way bards normally do. What the fuck am I still here? What the fuck? God oh, damn man. it! How do I hang up a call? <laughs> wow. How do you Smurf, hang up a call, get off Smurf? The phone with Smurf. 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 We've got double Smurf. Double Smurf. Double Smurf. What does it mean? Double Smurf bow. Smurfception. Okay, am I out? I'm out. Uh, you're back. Oh, hey, look at that. Okay, out. perfect. Yeah, we're great. Uh, get your web captioner set up, uh, and then we'll worry about you. It's fine. <laughs> okay. I can't okay. seem to add any more advantage tokens for some reason. So you all have one, two, three, four, five. You have seven. You have seven. Remember, you have seven. I'm writing it down. We have seven. Uh, How many do we have? Seven. You have seven. 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 We, seven. Have, we have six, right? Seven. Oh, plus seven one. Do you seven? Seven. 77 is what I heard. Seven is what you got. You got seven. Seven. There's the thing. I, I don't know why we're making this here. difficult. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> let's let's skate fast, eat ass tonight. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much, Smurf. Uh, next up uh, is Capjack. Hey, everybody. I'm Capjack, or at Capjack Cross on the Twitters, and tonight I am playing the one, the only disaster artificer, Victor Inkmasher. Could I get a little more volume off of your microphone? You probably could. It, it's probably easier if I'm talking into it. Yes, that would be very, very helpful. Yeah, that, yeah, that probably helps. Okay. Uh, and then Than. Hi, I'm Thanrand. And tonight I'm playing Rose Sylvius. Well, I told you so. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here. Yay. Uh, and Rose Sylvius is a druid. Oh, I'm a druid. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, totally. It's pretty cool. Mm. It's pretty nice. You should try yeah. it. Right? You ever thought about it? It's really fun. He doesn't give you good berries. He gives you good brownies. You know what I'm saying? 
the best brownies. <laughs> it's true. Let's choke up, bro. Shut up, bro. Meg. Hi, I'm Meg. Hi. I forgot the headset does a thing. Um, I will be playing Penelope von Brilland, your pain in the ass, sassy little high elf fighter that likes to kick ass. So. Nice. Uh, uh, Chris. What's up, everybody? The Chris Herzog and all social media. Judah Kelly here on Twitch. And today I am playing Caracas Bully Buster, half orc barbarian. Sweet. And Smurf. Hi, everybody. I'm Smurf. I'm sorry for being late. It's all right. Uh, tonight I'm playing Kavi. Uh, Kavi is a halfling rogue and younger sibling of uh, Ro. It's going to be a good time. And the music kind of makes me think of uh, Titanic for some reason. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, new music tonight. Um, we're using the uh, Roll20 jukebox, and all of the music tonight is brought to you by Anthony Markinen, um, who you can find on Bandcamp, and Kevin McLeod, who you can find on IncomeTech.com. Uh, sweet. So, who wants to tell me what happened last week on A Storm of Four? I told him so. Nobody listens to Penelope and Ro. Nope. It's true. <laughs> We're the voice of reason, and no one understands. No. We so. made the decisions. Uh, we were in a cave, and there were zombies. And we thought we could be friends with them. And um, we, we could not be friends with them. Not no. And Why? then there was, you know, somebody yelling at us through a hole in the wall. And they tried to drop rocks on us. Why were you in the uh, cave? That's we are in the cave because there are rumors of undead ghosts, spirits that have been haunting the place that have been passed along to the miners who have brought that information to the city of Redlock, which we have been trying to build up our reputation in as we are all secretly Harper agents. Very We're good. Very good at building a reputation. That is, that is true. Uh, this specific... It may not be the reputation we want. Yes. But it's a reputation. Sorry, the DoorDash is lost. The, oh my god. That is the literal worst when that happens. I can't... Yeah, I know, I know what you're feeling. So, this particular time, uh, the owner of the Swinging Sword Inn, among others, had pointed you in the direction of Lance Rock because a miner came from here saying that things were freaking weird and, uh, like, lots of, like, dead bits and things and she was going to pay y'all 50 gold, plus, of course, whatever you found in Eesh. the cave... Uh, not each. Plus, whatever you found in the cave, if you went and checked it out, because she thinks it's the source of all the weirdness that's happening in and around the Desert Valley. Um, on top of that, you have heard rumors about weird stuff happening uh, at the local quarry, where the strange mass figures have shown up at night. Uh, none of the none of the quarry workers want to work at night, and you've also heard about some hauntings up in uh, the, the local burial mounds of some of the older nobles, uh, and all of this as you attempt to build your reputation in the town of Red Larch as, as Harpers, uh, the secret keepers and information gatherers of the world of Feyrun. Uh, so our party now stands most of the way through this strange necromantic cave where they have run into dancing zombies and angry skeletons and, and strangely mutated uh, skeletons. Having wandered into the workshop of the necromancer, uh, our party has been assaulted by uh, a number of strange pieces of flesh that have crawled out of these piles. They stand in this large open room that is lit by sconces on the walls, uh, and zombies begin to pull themselves off of the three slabs next to you as flesh begins to crawl out of the piles from which these zombies look like they're created and are coming to strike at you. Uh, and we have rolled initiative, so we are going directly into combat. Kavi, I still need you to roll. Fuck! <clears throat> No, you have to say it like Mickey no, Mouse. roll. Not... I want you to roll. I want to fuck so bad! <laughs> uh, nine. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I just want to fuck! Okay, starting at the top with Caracas or Penelope. Who'd ever like to go first? Go ahead. All right. You see what you see? These crawling hunks of flesh are starting to come towards you, and this zombie has just pulled itself up off one of the slabs. All right, I'm going to run. Right in between Cavi and Lysander, and I'm going yep. to attack that little squishy bit that is just now crawling our direction because it's gross. Get him. 
Ooh, good. Uh, 16 plus stuff. Hit! All right, that is going to be a d12. What's your oh, strength bonus? Just, um, I gotcha. It is plus three for With a off. resounding splorch, you destroy yeah. this piece of flesh that looked like it oh. was going to attack something. All right. <laughs> I guess that's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're, they're little guys. They're just little guys. Penelope. Um, she's gonna just inch her way back towards the squad. Because <laughs> she's just <laughs> okay. like, that is nasty. I'm not about it. Y'all can take care of this, right? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. And she kind of is just like holding her, her like... <laughs> freaking sword like eh, no yes uh, okay um or on Oriath's go you hear this chanting in that kind of high-pitched shouty voice you heard before leave this place or else I will destroy you with my hordes of undeath and the back lights up uh, and you see this uh, the rest of the workshop as this glowing light uh, emanates from this kind of central pillar that Oriath seems to be working on. Uh, he is a skinny looking, uh, in life he was probably in his mid thirties. He's got kind of a, a twirled handlebar mustache with a, a pointy like soul patch down here, uh, straggly black hair. He is surrounded by these skeleton minions who apparently look like they're about to start moving out to come after you. But above this strange plinth, he's working at is a uh, a symbol floating in the sky. And let me get to it real quick for you. Is it Neil Peart? It is Neil Peart. <laughs> uh, here we go. You see this. Do you see that? Hey, that's yeah. on the thing. Hey, I see that. that. Mm -hmm. I do see that. Mm-hmm. I and see that. What's weirder is you see the brown one there, the triangle with the piece coming up in the center? Yeah. You recognize that symbol from the strange uh, man who had the, the, like, the stone suffused to him as armor. Oh. He had that symbol on his breast. And it just seems to be floating there above it. I would notice a lot because I picked him up several times. Yes. He goes, I wield the power of the eye. Can't you see? It sees your every move. Leave or it shall destroy you. And then this, and then he shoots a magic missile at um, Krakus. What's you? Sew! And he's going to do it at level three. So that's going to be uh, three, four, five, D4. Oh, shit. He's the big, he's the big boss. Might be dead, dead Caracas. Uh, it's gonna be 12. 12 damage. Ooh. That was a lucky roll. I am hurt really bad. <laughs> At this, like, anime spray of, like, magic <laughs> missile slams into your chest. Uh, it's the zombies go. Uh, the zombie pops off. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And is going to strike at Kavi. No! Sorry. <laughs> uh, he's going to make a slam attack. He's actually going to make a bite attack at you. Uh, you see something interesting about this zombie as he starts to pick himself up and move towards you. He's got these like this distended open like maw on him that that looks like it's built for rending and chewing flesh. However, you're small, and he's a zombie, and so as he goes to bite at you, just like right over your head, misses you completely. Ah! But as that happens, another one, the, the, the one on the plinth next to it, begins to wake up. I forgot the rage. Damn it. Yeah, you did. Uh, but that's, that's the zombies go. Uh, Victor. <clears throat> oh, this is... Not good. There's a lot of them and not as many of us as we need them to be. Uh, but in the meantime, pulls out a tube and 
glitter cannons everything in this group right here. Oh, wait. Yes. Fairy fire in here. Okay. It's going to give everybody advantage on everything. Sweet. Whew. There's a dexterity save? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, so the little hands don't get it um, because they're little hands. Um, but the two zombies will. The maw zombies. Uh, so the one that is here makes it, but this one is very fired. Uh, and we'll just make that that. That's very fire for now. So all of the hands in that one zombie, very fired. Anything else? Uh, for right now, gonna take a step back. <laughs> that's it for now. Okay. Um, skeletons, pretty far away. But they're going to start moving in your direction in a shambly sort of way. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, I don't... Let me see. Is that all of their movement? Because they go 15, right? No, their speed's 30 feet. Okay, yeah. So they can go 60. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then we'll just do that. And that. 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 And these skeletons have the same sort of flesh-rending maw as that zombie does. These have, uh, like, you, uh, none of you have, like, a ton of experience fighting undead, but these were obviously altered humans in some way. This necromancer seems to like his experiments. Um, it is the crawling claws go. The claw. Uh, we're going to put a claw. 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15. Five, 10, 15. Okay. First claw at row. Lush, lush, lush. Uh, what is your AC? Uh, 9,000. Nice, nice, 12. nice. 12. Uh, just <laughs> hits because I rolled a 9 with a plus 3. So that'll be a 1d4 plus 1 damage. That will be 4 points of damage. Ow! Guys, that didn't feel good. It's kind of like starting to crawl up your leg, and you feel this sort of acid burning away at you. You're not grappled in any way, but this thing has made, like, contact with you. It's not really, like, clawing at you so much as it is, like, there's, like, teeth and acid and things that kind of wrap around your leg and this horrible gibberish mass. Yeah, it's super gross. Mm. Great. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so the next one's going to be on Lysander. Lysander, remind me, your AC's not a 10, is it? It's not a 10. <laughs> okay. And then the last it's one. It's not much on... higher, but it's not a 10. <laughs> Kavi, I rolled a 9 on you because I'm having that kind of dice day. So that's it for those. Uh, Ro and Kavi, whoever would like to go first. You got higher decks. I don't know. Yeah, go ahead. Mm. Plus, you had a mouthful of food, so. Well, I know. I'm brand. Um, well, fuck me and call me Sally. Um, I'm not going to do that. Um. I'm going to call you uh, Smurf. Uh, so, uh, guys, I really think that we might think about running in this situation. Uh, and I'm going to attack the one that's right in front of me. Get it! The zombie right in front of you. Uh, does a 13 hit? Just barely. Oh, look at me. These, these are built for eating, not for defense. Uh, 11 points of damage. Noise, noise, noise. Uh, you come up and slam into it with your weapon, and it's just this horrible rending slash as, like, goop comes out of its its chest, uh, as that's about as high as you can get on it. Um, ah, gross. Uh, Ro! Ro! Uh, hmm, is, is the things on my leg, you said? Uh, yeah, you've got one kind of <laughs> up your leg. It's gross. I'm going to use my quarter staff and smack the shit out of it. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> but, like, not my leg, too. I'm just going to no, no, like... no, 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 I got you. Boom. You're gonna Boom. Do... Yeah, yeah. Kill. Ah, nice. Uh, 13. What's your strength bonus? What's my strength bonus? It's plus two. Yeah, you sparch. And it explodes in a, uh, a gout of gore off your leg. It's dead. Ha ha! And then... These are little guys. Then... I'm going to not do anything else. Lysander! Hey, so everything is pretty terrible for us right now. Um, I am surrounded, aren't I? 
Or no, uh, they just, they no, just took out one. No, you're here, right? Yeah, they just took out yeah. one? Yeah. They just took you're out one. Okay. All right. It's, uh, it's not so terrible. It's not so and terrible. And you've got advantage, but you have disadvantage. You're on Caracas' square. So I square. just, I roll normally. Someone move me. Where did I go? One, two, three, not it. Where did I go? Ah, there we go. I'm going to put myself back there. Got uh, you. So, so you firstly, are rolling normal. I, I am rolling normal, and I will normally roll to attack the little hand thingy that I don't like to my west. <laughs> yeah. So think of it more as like a pile of flesh with teeth. With teeth. A pile of flesh with teeth. Yes. Have you ever seen like um, Nerglings from Warhammer Fantasy? Yes. It's more like that. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> don't like yeah. that. Not about that. Wow. So six, <laughs> six, 16 to hit. Uh, yeah, 100%. Do more uh, than two dam damage. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. I did six damage, and <laughs> after Lysander pierces this thing through its gibbering mouth, um, with the blade still in it, he leans over his shoulder and he points back at Penelope and goes, Penelope von Breland, the woman that I swore myself to is not a coward. Show these fools who they face. And I give ah! a bardic inspiration. <laughs> That's great. That's great. That's great. <laughs> That made me smile. That was very Barty. I like it. Uh, anything else? <laughs> Caracas. Uh, no, that, that's, oh. that's an action. Yeah, that's everything. Okay. Sweet. All right. I pull up my hood and make sure my mask comes low. Gar I go Gar into a rage. All right. And because I was dealing with the, the, the DoorDash driver, <laughs> yes, which, okay. one, which, is, which is the one that blasted me? Uh, the one that blasted you is that one. Oh no, oh, that right dude, here? the dude who blasted you with the spell is up here. <laughs> with the spell. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right, well then I'm just going to smash this one that's right in front of me. Okay. Or right next to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, remember, you have advantage. You do not have advantage on that one. Okay. Uh, that would have helped. Uh, I don't Sorry. think I did well. It's all right. Uh, no, it's going to be a nine. Just missed. It actually uh, bounces okay. off one of its teeth. You see it crack a little bit, but it doesn't do any damage. All right. It's, my mask was crooked. Okay. Couldn't see. <laughs> Penelope. Um, Penelope's just going to look at Lysander like, fuck you. You know I don't like squishy. <laughs> but fine. I said what I said. And so, why did my map move? There we go. Okay. So she's going to go and come up. I can't even see. One, two. Mind my mean? forehead for a minute. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. And she... Uh, while I remember how to play a fighter, give me a second. Damn. There we go. Um, she's going to use her, her the, the bonus action for two-weapon fighting and um, pull up both her short swords and just, like, kind of open, swing through and hit this, this one... And this one. Eh. There. Okay, love it. Let's do it. Okay. And a 14? It absolutely hits. Yay. For both or just the one? I forgot. Did I roll for both? You would roll separately for each. Okay. Thought so. And 18. Yeah, yeah both, both of them. Today. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. Cool beans. And D6 plus 3 is a four yeah dead all right nice Splorch. And, and the other one a six yeah dead Splorch. and a flurry of blades you take out these two little gibbering weird things and they're gone lysander nice. just grins and winks at the display she just swings the swords up and flips them off across the room <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Uh, Orioth is going to move 30 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Old Oreo. Oh, 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 just make it. Nice, nice. Uh, Penelope, make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, what is his spell DC? His spell DC is 13! 
Uh, for a moment, you feel your mind become not your own, but you're able to shake it off. And you hear him go, damn! <laughs> and that's his whole game. Uh, zombies. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. So, zombie number one is going to turn around and realize it's in a bad situation and try and attack Penelope with its huge maw. Uh, rolls a 20. Ooh. Naturally? No, no, no. <laughs> Does 13 Unnatural. points of damage. <laughs> Oof. No insta death at level one in my campaigns. But it did put you down, I would imagine. Did it put you down? Or are you still up? No, I'm. Okay. I'm <laughs> just, yeah. With a horrible rending terror of flesh, Penelope falls over. Ouch. And is down. Uh, the other zombie will attack. Uh, Lysander. Lysander, you see Penelope go down. That's my one for the night. Rolls a 15. That hits. Uh, only does four points of damage. Because I rolled an eight on Penelope and then one on you. Oh, that's still scary to me, so... <laughs> uh, any other zombies? No other zombies. Victor. How's the one that did a chompy chomp looking? Uh, well, they both did a chompy chomp. Uh, but the one that, that uh, jumped on Penelope, I mean, it's hard to tell because they're zombies and so they're immediately <laughs> gross and, like, their flesh is falling off. But there does look to be a fresher wound on the one that Kavi and Penelope are facing. That's what matters. Okay. Um, yeah, gonna grab one of the ice chunks and hurl it. Sweet. And uh, you have advantage. Uh, that's an at 20. To, uh, it doesn't matter. It's a spell. <sighs> Oh, that's right. Does that matter on spells? I don't think it matters. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Yeah. Oh, come on. Is it a ranged touch attack? <laughs> if it's a ranged touch attack, it matters. Ranged touch. No. Okay. All right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> if it says roll to hit, then it matters. If it that does not say roll to hit, gotcha. then it doesn't matter. Oh, it's Ray of Frost. Then it matters. Oh, it does? <clears throat> yes, it's Ray of... Yes, it's a ranged attack. Oh, yeah. Okay, got it. So, yes. Nat yes. 20 and rolled an 8 on the damage die. So, I don't know if that doubles it. I don't no, you just roll the damage die. Cool. 8 damage. No, then roll damage again, but you don't get the bonus a second time. That it, there is no bonus. Oh, there's not? So, you did 7 and 8? So, you just roll the damage twice. You just roll the damage die twice. Okay, cool. So you got uh, eight plus whatever. Is it three? So eight, nine, so eleven. Eleven. <laughs> uh, again, as the ne necrotic flesh turns to ice, you see it rip and kind of fall off, and there's this sort of hole in its chest from where you hit it. Uh, Skelligo. Skelligo! Five, ten, fifteen. Uh, and 20. Victor's gonna start running. Okay. Um. See. Interesting. Well, you can move. You can move your regular move. That was the plan. You can't really. Uh, right right there. there. Which is sad because, uh, yeah. That's, this is all that's left. This is all of them. Uh, crawling call. Uh, skeletons are done. Crawling claws are all done. Uh, row. <laughs> hey. This is not good. Um, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna move. Yeah. Up to like, oh, wait, hang on, let's count 5, 10, 15, 20. Like right here, okay? Yep. And then I'm gonna attack this Sambo? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get advantage on that. I am. With my, uh, my quarter staff. You got it. Aha, 18 on the dice. Hit. Before. So, let's go. Seven points of damage. Nice. It looks really fucked up. Great. Uh, there's, now you hit it, and you hear this horrible cracking of bone 
as it like splinters out of its spine and it turns around and kind of goes as it looks at you. Mad about it. He does not like Um, it. Anything else? Uh, did you use all your movement? No. You should move. Uh uh, Yeah. Okay. Away. Yeah. No. 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 You should not move away. You should move north diagonally five feet so that you give me advantage so I can kill him this turn. You don't have advantage right now? Nope. No, I do not. How do you not? Penelope's dead. She's down. She's not wielding. I'm, I'm right I'm next to is. her. Just stand on my wielding. body. It's fine. Yeah, you can stand on the body. Okay. It has, for it has flanking, it has to be across. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, there you go. Copy. And now I'm going to attack. With advantage. I just kicked your body over. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll get you. I promise. Uh, 21 to hit? Yeah, 100%. 100%. 100, 100. 100. 100, 100. <laughs> For eight damage? Uh, it takes it out. Sneak attack, right? Oh. Yeah, that's with sneak. Yep. Nice. Oh, it goes down. Anything else, wrong? Uh, or anything else, Cobb? Uh, uh, <clears throat> and then I'm going to use all of my movement uh, to... How cool do I want to be right now? Cool as heck! So cool. Okay, here we all go. All of the cools. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... Where are you going? I'm I'm go I'm going that way. I hear I'm you. going north. All right. Uh Crocus. Okay. I am going to This is a sarcophagus just north of um, Yes. Cool. And I want is... to jump onto the sarcophagus Roar! and then swing at the one that is I love right it. next to Lysander. Get it. And you've got advantage cuz of fairy fire. Yep. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. And we'll roll these dice then. Uh, it's going to be not great, but I think I, I'm going to hit. Uh, 11 plus 5, 16. Hit. That's great. All right. It is going to be... Oh, and I'm raging too. Sweet. Yes. Uh, 7 plus 5, 12 damage. Uh, into the head. And it just splits open and this horrible green goo comes out as it collapses. <clears throat> Your days of being a bully are over. Nice. Penelope, pl- <laughs> Penelope, please make me a death saving throw. What did you roll? You have succeeded on your first death saving throw. Congratulations. Uh, oh, it's Oriath's go. Uh, what's he going to do this uh, turn? Sh- uh, shouldn't I have gone after Kavi? Oh, my God. I totally... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, my but bar. I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's, it's my right. fault yes. for brain skipping you. It's absolutely on me. Brain skipping? Yeah. Oh, dear. That sounds terrible. Well, now you have the freedom to move away without taking an attack, though, so... Right. <laughs> yes, I know. Thank you for that. That, that is uh, super handy. So, That's what um, I was thinking about. Yes, I appreciate you. And, in fact, Ferex even, uh, like, gives, like, a really firm jam of the pommel of his blade to uh, Karakas' shoulder and Whoa. thanks and um, immediately uh, looks back towards the tunnel sees Victor fleeing and is like coward and uh, <laughs> <laughs> will step up to present a front line to all of these charging zombies because this is going to fucking suck um, the skeletons not and- zombies uh, the, the, the undead, the bad things. Yeah, the bad things. And I will burn my last spell slot. Okay. Um, where's my spells? Spell slot gone. As I cast Healing Word on Penelope. Nice. For Max, so that's eight. Eight hit points. Nice. Uh, Penelope Ooh, gets nice. back. <laughs> As blade in hand. Um, even though there is a row between them, he like leans around row and goes on your left. Our story does not end here. Oh. Uh, okay, Penelope, I'm giving you your full turn because that would have happened before your go. She kind of just 
slowly moves her way back up, but it's just like, on your right, let's go. And just kind of prepares herself and just slowly, like, not like super fast, so probably just like move up like a few, like 10 feet and is just trying to like ready herself and steady herself to okay. face this dude. All right. Uh, Oriath is going to say, you should give up now. My minions are endless. And will do something. Uh, oh yeah, we're going to do that. So I need uh, Kavi make a Constitution saving throw as these four, <laughs> these twin these twin green rays reach out for you and and they look like they're there to suck your life away. Seventeen, you make it. Uh, this it slams into you, but you're able to shake off the poison damage, doing no damage whatsoever. Uh, on a hit, the target takes two uh, maybe. Uh, oh God, wait. Oh, I have to make a range to uh, touch. Uh, I gotta make a range. What's your AC? No, <laughs> he rolled a natural one. <laughs> no, it just he, he hits one of his own skeletons. It doesn't matter because the skeleton's already dead. But he hits one of his own skeletons <laughs> in the back, and yeah, it turns around and looks at him angrily, but otherwise does nothing. And he goes, "Damn it! <laughs> Damn it!" <laughs> and then moves another thirty feet. Four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one, thirty feet. Okay. Uh, then it is. Uh, Victor. So Victor, so out of the tunnel flies a glass vial at this one right here. <coughs> so that's going to be... I don't think you, you can't really see him. No? You'd have to move up. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. Do, do, do. <laughs> do. He's uncowarding. Uno mas. Still nope. One more. All right. There you go. Victor was never a coward thing. Just make space between people. And that's going to be a dirty 20. Okay, that's going to hit. Four. Can I roll insight? <laughs> yes, Four. you can. <laughs> I mean, by all means, go for it. Do I believe him? I rolled a 19. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know. He said he fled, so I'll leave that. <laughs> no, no. Victor's entire purpose was like, oh, that's a caster. We're all bunched up. Nope. That is what flea means. <laughs> you said it poorly. <laughs> we write our own stories here. You were making space. Uh, okay, so you rolled a, a dirty 20. Uh, yeah, yes. go ahead and roll for damage. Four damage. Four damage. Uh, okay, um, that's the... Ten feet less movement. Oh, nice. Uh, skeletons. Uh, yeah. First one's gonna come here. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Uh, sweet. All right. So, let's take some swings with skeletons. Um. Where is my skeleton sheet? Where is my skeleton sheet? Uh, these guys have short swords. Ugh. And giant maws. Okay, first attack uh, on Kavi. Uh, rolled a three. That's going to be a no. Second attack on Kavi. Rolled a two. That's going to be a no. Third attack on Penelope. That's going to be a 16. <laughs> uh, but your AC is 18, isn't it? That's going to bounce off, right? AC 16. AC 16? Oh, okay. Well, it's good. It's going to be uh, three points of damage. Because <laughs> I rolled a one on my damage. Uh, next one. On, uh, uh, I blanked on your name, Than. Sorry. Uh, uh, Bjorn. Bo. Bro. Roderick. Bro. 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 Uh, I should 11. get. Bro. 12. Oh, 11 12. misses. 12. 12. Are you ha it took you four tries to get my name right. I think I should. <laughs> Well, okay, he said penelope twice already. So he I'm did. A, I'm you did get two penelopes out. We got, we got seven advantages. It wouldn't hurt you, to use them in this fight. You do I have seven advantages. I, I um, agree with well, that. Can I impose disadvantage on that? Uh, you absolutely may. Uh, and then I rolled an eighteen. So no, that misses. An eighteen misses. No, yeah, let's go. Five points of damage to Ro. We got six. I, I'm keeping it track. Okay. 
Uh, and then the last one on uh, uh, Lysander uh, <laughs> rolls not. an 18. Would you uh, like to impose disadvantage on that? I would love to impose disadvantage on that. I rolled a nat get one. Hit. Yeah, there I'll we take go. Take the nat one. All right, we're down to. Uh, well, we had eight technically because Michi added one as well, uh, so we're down to six. That's Thank six. you, Michi. Thanks, this is Michi. this is the level one big bad fight. Congratulations, you, team. You saved uh, my life. <laughs> and Ro. <laughs> uh, it's not cool. <clears throat> not cool at all. <clears throat> and um. I'm attacking the one in front of me, I guess. I guess, or Kavi, whichever you'd like. The one in front of you does appear to be wounded. Okay. Let's, let's, let's go. Oh, oh, thank God. Uh, that's 19 on the dice. Uh, not, but yeah, I mean, yes. I mean, psh, yeah. Yeah, for, for sure. For sure. Whack. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, that's six on the die. Six, seven, that's good. Eight. Eight? eight total. Mm, you sure it's not nine? I physically cannot roll nine damage unless you just feel like doing that. Because uh -uh, it's nope. a D six plus two. It's level one. If you were like level three, I'd be like, ah, you're one away well, and it's a skeleton. Hang on. Kill you know you. what? I could. I could What's say that? I was doing that versatile with two hands. Oh, you could. It's one, it's yeah, one D yeah. eight. There you I go. Think about that. So roll a D eight. Let's roll a D eight. I lost it. Oh, okay, that's seven on the dice plus two. Nine. Okay, there you go. Nice. <laughs> you crack a skull and he falls down. Hey. Well, that's right, because you don't have a shield, right? No, I just, no, not at all. Well, then, yeah, I don't know why I haven't been doing it the whole time. Right, right, right. Kavi. I'm still learning. Yeah, it's level one. Level one. Uh, Kavi. Two okay, skeletons so scare you, stare you down. What I'm going to do... <clears throat> is uh, I would like to stealth. Keep in mind that I am trying to stealth from the caster mm. who's behind, mm -hmm. okay? He's the target of my stealth. Mm -hmm. And then I would like to disengage mm -hmm. and move. Okay. Make a stealth check. It is a, a, a kind of flickering light, torchlight in here. It's not daylight bright in here. Uh, that is a dirty 20. Okay, uh, let me check his perception score real quick. He rolled relatively well. Maybe not that well. Um. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. Okay, yeah. Uh, then you disengage. Where do you move to? I'm going 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. <clears throat> okay. Anything else? Uh... No. All right. Uh, as far as you know, he did not see you do that. Um, Lysander. Hey, uh, it's me. I'm still up. Um, <laughs> these people don't have these people don't have fairy fire. Uh, no, they do not. Today. So you will be a disadvantage ahead at the moment. Nope, because I'm gonna step where the dead one is, <laughs> and I'm now hiding underneath it. Apparently, so ah. they can't find me. <laughs> or they can't hit me. Mwah! Clever disguise. And I poke out from under there with my rapier. <laughs> Get it. And uh, I will remove my disadvantage because I'm flanking and just remove. You the are. Damage. From the depths of zombie, I stab at thee. Throw the die off the damn table again. <laughs> Aw, poor Stop table. It. What did the table ever do to you? I don't know. It's it's Stop rage throwing. Ever since I was ten. Um Aww. eight eighteen to hit. Yeah, what well, yeah, yep, yep. Seven damage. Nice. Uh hurts it. Uh certainly not down. Certainly not down. Okay, um I don't have anything else I could do. Again, I'm out of spells and Penelope has my bardic inspiration. So <laughs> Sweet. Oh turn. yeah, that's right. Uh Penelope is bardically inspired. Uh, I tend to use yellow for a bardic inspiration, although sadly it's covering your face. Uh, uh, yeah, it really is, isn't it? Caracas. This is a very large <laughs> map for some reason. Uh, Caracas or Penelope, whoever would like to go first. <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to jump from this one sarcophagus to the other one, step okay. down, and then run up next to Penelope. Yeah. And then ping at the one that's uh, next to Lysander. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, advantage, correct? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Thanking. All right. Uh, 19 plus. Oh, yeah, you hit. So that's a d12 plus 5. Uh, that'll be 12 damage. 12 damage. Uh, oh, yeah, it goes down. In a horrible smash of splintered bone, it... <laughs> and I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to move one more step for my movement. Sure. There we go. And then Penelope. Um... I was kind of hesitant on actually going first just because I was going to have her do second wind first to heal up because smart, ow. Smart, smart, um, smart. So she's going to do that first for seven HP because I rolled a six plus one. Which brings me back to full health. Thank God. Is that full health D&D Beyond? This is a deadly encounter, but I, I have full faith that you've been able to, you've been able to hit. You've been doing well. Mm. Um, as she had gotten up, like she's only she's back to one hand because she had kind of just stumbled out of consciousness and forgot about the other one for a sec. So she's back and she's um, gonna swing at the one mm. right in front and just hope for the best for the. Yeah. Do I want to know? You just yes. look at when it's your when when, you, when you're done with your turn. Look at look at our our, our Discord chat. <laughs> So what did he roll? <laughs> um, damn y'all! I, <laughs> I he rolled a twelve. Uh, that just misses. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> um, as she does that, she's just like, oh shit! So she just kind of like overswung, like kind of just overcompensated because she just didn't trust her own strength. So she goes, as she swings and turns around, she grabs her other sword and just kind of like tries to prepare for dual uh, two-handed fighting again. Okay. Uh, are you going to? T- I was un- unclear. You're going to strike with your second hand attack or not? No. No, okay. I. She basically hit over swung, and that's why she like she wound up missing. And so when she does that, she ends up kind of turned around because she just didn't function correctly when she did that. And so she's just like, "Well, shit, my sword's still here." Picks Sweet. it up. <laughs> and that's that. All right, I'm trying to Oriaf. See, oh. my skeletal minions will consume you. Die. Two of them already. Shh. He's a crazy necromancer. No one ever said he was smart. Um, he's he's just a big bully. Uh, he's going to uh, cast magic missile at mm-hmm. level two on mm-hmm. Lessie. Mm-hmm. So that will be three d four. What? Why not? Uh, two, three, four. Five, six. Six points of damage. Just enough. Oh, no, I Lysander. Gotta I got a hit on the bard. Because you were right there. Because <laughs> you were there. Pretty much. Uh, zombies are dead, so I can take them off. Uh, Victor. Because some of the others of us kept out of range. And Victor is going to unsling a crossbow and take aim at this obnoxious caster. Nice. Mm, nice. It's like none of us are ranged fighters. Yeah, okay, yeah, do it. Uh, we are now down to five advantages. Net 20, baby. Okay. Double damage. So, 1d8. And, and seven. Uh, plus three, so 14, 17 damage. <laughs> he is uh, still up. But you center chest. Oh. Suck it, bully. And he's like, ah! <laughs> Anything else? Uh, no, just starts cranking that for a second shot. Okay. Uh, skeletons go. Oh, actually, yes. Gonna what? step right there. <laughs> Smart, smart. Uh, nobody knows Kavi is there. So this is going to be like that. <coughs> and then like that. 
That's a smart uh, uh Okay. Um, skeleton number one is going to attack uh, uh, Caracas with a damage. Mm. And roll a nat 20. Ouchies. Mm. Uh, for four, five, six points of damage because I suck at life uh, as it, like, rends into you with its 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 giant angry blah, 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 jaws uh, for six points of damage. Caracas falls. Oh, no! Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> surprisingly, the second one misses Penelope. Uh, but. Yes? Oh, I'm not done. Oh, wait, because you're a half-orc. Caracas hits the ground. Like, looks like he's down. And then just sits upright. He's like, you bully have your day. And he starts to stand back up. He's got one hit point. Okay, Relax sweet. Endurance. Yeah. Yeah. Because half work. All right. Half work. Um, so how would I do this? I think that zombie's not smart enough to know that. Uh, and it did miss on Penelope. So the last one's going to attack Penelope now. Uh, and we'll roll a 17 to hit, <laughs> which will do five points of damage to Penelope. Still up? I know we're like on the knife's edge here. This is this is all very tense, but Penelope, are you still up? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Uh, and then it's Rose go. Well, don't have a lot of choice here. <laughs> so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Two-handed quarterstaff smack the shit out of this dude. All right. I'm going to use advantage, though. Yeah, you are. Four. If you take a step to the side, you can just get it. Oh, advantage. that's right. You know what? I Wait, did. didn't okay. we have seven? When did we use three? Loop. You've used a number. Yeah, yeah. We got five left. Yeah, yeah, you five. currently have five left. And you I'm had gonna... eight, and you've used three. So I have advantage. I'm not using an advantage. Okay. Yes. Okay. That is 12, 16. 16 hits. For nine points of damage. You bring this quarterstaff down on its head. There's a... And it kind of turns around. And, and then I uh, say, Well, it's been nice knowing y'all. <laughs> Copy. Okay. Uh, I am going to uh, move. Yes. Uh, as I need to actually click my token and not drag an arrow. Dragon arrow. We need one of those. Uh, I'm going to move here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't and see you. He has a, a base perception of nine. So he, he, he has okay. a minus one to his perception roll. There we go. And I'm going to attack him with yeah. my rapier. <laughs> Sneak attack. He don't know what's coming. Uh, 20, baby. Woo! Get, it, get, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Double get it. Double salt dice. All dice double. And your sneak attacks double. Super sneak. Okay. Please, sneaky. please, please, please. Do this. Like do this. One shot this. One person. shot this. Movie. <laughs> Twenty-one <laughs> points of damage. Woo! Come on. With but a wait. Yes. Oh, oh, continue. No, no, no. Which, Was there more uh, damage to be done? Yes, I use my bonus action and attack with my offhand. Okay. With my rapier. Okay. Or uh, with my dagger, excuse me. Okay. Uh, there's this horrible scream as you plunge your first attack into him. It doesn't seem to kill him. Uh, does 23 hit? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm For four damage. Uh, how do you take out Oreo? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like crouching by the, the the wall by the shadows and I just say this is my moment all my friends are dying we have to go and I just sprint up behind him uh, rapier uh, to the back of the knee that brings him down uh, to his knees and then I just take the dagger from behind him and just slit his throat nice yeah. Uh, and the weirdest thing happens as you do. You've got your arm around him to hold him so you can cut his throat, but suddenly he becomes insubstantial and turns into this black flame, flaring up for a moment and then disappearing. And as he does so, all the skeletons fall. Yes! Yes! Holy 
Holy fuck! That was nuts! <sighs> what kind of dagger is that? Um, well, you know, it's nothing. Uh, oh, right. Um, run over and start stabilizing people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Lysander, make Please. a death saving throw. Go roll a natural one. Nope, You're lost muted. it. Yeah. What? 16. Nice. Okay. Uh, and then make a medicine check, Victor. Nice. All right. You are stabilized. What happens next, team? You stand now triumphant over this necromancer's cave deep in the hills of the Deserin Valley, having been brought here by a tip from the mistress of the crossed swords and double swords and something I forget. I'm sorry. I just totally killed my own narration there. Um, knowing that you will get 50 gold when you get back and having discovered a strange necromancer in the hills. What happens next? Rogue ah. runs on his quarterstaff and just slides down until he's sitting on the ground and just breathes because he's still feeling it. Yeah. Um, Lysander, healed by Victor, uh, once again gets up with a start, grabs the tiefling by the shoulder and shakes his head with a grin going, we really must stop meeting like this. <laughs> well, don't call me a coward. Tactical retreat is important sometimes. Communication is as well. Wow. <laughs> if I confuse you, I confuse them too. I... I'll think of a response to that later. <laughs> Excellent. Um. Huh. But there is no body of Necromancer? There's no body. Of, no. There's a, a <clears throat> wand laying there, though. I'll grab the wand. Hey, big bro! Yeah. Did you see what I did? You did good, buddy. He didn't even know I was there. <laughs> anyway, there's more space up here. I'm fucking quick. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go investigate up north. Uh, everybody stay there and like breathe still. Yeah, uh, so you're gonna anybody else gonna go up there or are you going to listen to the stay there and breathe? <laughs> I, totally going up there. Okay. I am limping up there. Yeah, I'm like Penelope's gonna help Lysander just get his feet under him. Okay. Um the 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 weird thing of course is this strange symbol floating above the altar. Um and it's kind of got this like silver cap with a number of baubles on it. Uh, they just seem to be simple carvings in, in stone. Uh, there is a cup of water. There is what looks like basalt. Um, there is uh, what looks like... Uh, um, what's the the white one with the clouds in it? Uh, I just blanked on it. Mother of Pearl? Mother of Pearl. And then there are oh. what look to be ashes of a incense burner. I don't know how I got that. It just popped right into my head. It was nicely done. <laughs> my grandma had tons of that stuff. <laughs> was she a necromancer? <laughs> no. And of course, rotating above all of it is that symbol. Uh, that I think I just uh, showed it to you again. Mm-hmm. Well, this is fucked up. It's more than fucked up. Can I check on it? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> um, since I'm disadvantaged, I can't really aid Victor. You can, can aid. I? You can absolutely aid. All right, oh, then I aid. You. Yes, thank you. you're welcome. I'm Lucy Goosey. Oh, yeah, that's really helpful. I'd rather have you have the information than not, you know. That's 17 Wait. instead of an 11. Are we history checking, or I'm sorry? Th arcana. This was specifically an arcana check, but if you'd like to make a history check, you should feel free. Yes. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? 23! Uh, okay, so, Victor, um, these are elemental symbols. These, uh, but there's something weird about them. You're not sure what. You've never seen elemental symbols in this configuration before, so you're not really sure what that means when they're set up like this. 
but it's definitely like earth, air, fire, water. But whatever that thing is in the middle, maul. Um, but you know they've been changed in some way to represent, and there's an importance to the order of some kind, um, and you're not sure what that means. Uh, Penelope, you have heard of a symbol like this before called the Elder Elemental Eye. It's supposed to be this unifying force of elemental power, but you, you'd need a library. You know you would need a library to research it more fully, like a very well-stocked library. Okay. But you have a obviously magical wand, and uh, are you searching that area out there? Yeah, I'll, I'll search it. Make an investigation check for me. Kavi, uh, can I see that wand, please? In a minute, in a minute. Okay, I was just going to figure out what that was. Okay. <laughs> it's a wand. It's probably magic. He was a necromancer. Uh, 13, Throck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's 13. It's uh, uh, 13. <laughs> so as you're looking around, one of the, the first thing you notice is this back area is not lit by torches. It's lit by a drift globe. Um, if you don't know what that is, I can show you, and I will add it to your, uh, it looks like this, doink. Oh, cool. Oh! oh. And it's a portable light source. Ooh. That's amazing. Yeah, and you should now have it in your, uh, it is an uncommon wondrous item. Uh, you can speak another command and make the illuminated glow rise into the air and follow you. Doink. That's amazing. That's yep. really cool. Thank you to Roll20 for these amazing handouts. Uh, all right. Um, you find 100 silver, one jet opal worth uh, 50 silver, and uh, a polished jet gem. I'm sorry, you found two jet gems worth 50 gold apiece. Oh. And, uh, oh God, uh, 50 gold points, or gold pieces, 50 gold pieces. So two jet gems, 50 gold pieces, 50 additional gold pieces in hard cash, 100 silver, the drift globe, and the wand that is unidentified currently. And then okay, like food so and drink and supplies and his bed's back here too. And yeah. What's behind the curtain? Uh, so that is actually where he, you found a number, like the, uh, the money was stashed. There's a wall back there. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's for it's, ambience. It's, just, it's for ambience, yes. <laughs> ambience. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, Victor, I found everything. You can look at the wand now. What is it? 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 Victor, what is it? Um, currently, it looks like a wand of halfling poisoning. It's true. <laughs> what is it? See, uh, that is a 23? On what? 24, sorry. 24. Yeah, tell me what you're rolling before you roll. And then I can be like, oh, no, yeah, that is arcana. what you should roll. Wait, oh, no, an I'm arcana? really bad at math. 24, yes. Uh, this has use, evocation right? magic on it. Okay. Yeah. This is... Because otherwise it's, you know... Some spell, right? form of evocation, indeed. If but you would need had... identify to actually figure out what it is. If I had to hazard a guess, considering how many of those blasted darts he managed to pummel us with, this may have conjured them. It's oh. more than likely a wand of magic missile, yes. That's fancy. Real fancy. You need a whole wand just for a spell. Yes. Why seems not? amazing. It just. Uh, that seems counterproductive, but okay. Should we check sarcophagus? Should we destroy the other sarcophagi? Should we check them? Oh, they were just, they're not really sarcophagus. They're oh, just, okay. Uh, they were, it was like rough hewn rocks with bodies on them. I and gotcha, then gotcha. You, this back here is a workbench that you're looking at um, with a whole bunch of like surgeon's tools that look like they've been, you know, done things to dead bodies with. There's like goop on the table. It, it's gross. There's a lot of, like, removal. There's, like, a little jar with some organs in it. You're not sure what those organs are. Um, 
But yeah, this is obviously a necromancer's workshop. There's gloopy things. And gross things. There's gloopy gross. <laughs> Gloop and gross. We should go back to town now and find healing and maybe visit the bathhouse. What's up the stairs over here, though? We should, we should probably rest first. It is getting. I, I agree. Yeah. yeah <laughs> yes. It is Resting getting towards great. Yeah. Do we really want to sleep here, Victor? You you took a look at what's in that like hole that Can up those rest? stairs. Yeah. Is that right? Uh, it is the peephole that he was able to see you through to trigger the trap. Um. What a jerk. Yeah. Last <laughs> session. Bully. When you were and the the rocks fell and nobody got hit because you all have really good dextrals, yeah, that one. I think somebody got hit. Doesn't matter. If there was anything else on the way up. <laughs> nope. Honestly, this may sound counterproductive, but sleeping here may not be a bad idea if it's going to be dark out. We know that this area is sheltered, and we can barden ourselves around this strange dais. They'd have to come at us from only one location. It's easily defensible. How long did it take us to get here? I think like, like half a day. Like half three? a day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was the better part of a half a day. Yes. We sh we should we should stay here for tonight. I'll begin uh, making camp. I concur. Hey, uh, when you uh, brought uh, Penelope back up, uh, you said the thing. I really appreciated that. It made me feel stronger. Well, <laughs> normally it doesn't work that way, but. Maybe. I don't know. I felt more courageous, and that's when I decided to run at him. The big guy. Uh, to be fair, I tip my hat to you, Sir Cavi. Without your assistance, we would have been overwhelmed. Well, sometimes you gotta think on your feet instead of with your feet. Oh, I was so glad you just did that in a completely different direction. I was half afraid you'd be like, with your feet instead of your back. Anyway. Why would you think with your back? Because he's know. always on his... Um, Always on his back? Yes, dear. Because he I keeps falling in combat? Yes. Because he's up where he shouldn't be? Yes. <laughs> but he's very brave. Stupid, but brave. <laughs> Which is why I keep him around. Any goodwill that you earned is immediately rescinded. <laughs> As Lysander <laughs> is like, turns slowly and begins setting up camp. I really respect him. <laughs> <laughs> the keeper. Rock. Yes. He's from the bad. Victor's gonna get like a really weird look on his face and start tearing through that necromancer's like bedroom area. Okay. He's looking for anything odd. Such or anything as? that like radiates magic, basically. That middle altar with those three Aside four rocks that. on it. It's specifically like, wait, person disappeared. Isn't that a thing liches do? Was that a lich? <laughs> so he like burned up in... Of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, I mean, go ahead and make an investigation check. Oh, shit. Um... 25? Yeah, you, you, there's nothing here. Other than the weird altery thing. It's still kind of brightly shining that same symbol. Hmm. Hey, could yeah. stop. Do we want to take this down? Well, I think we should leave it as evidence in case the constable wants to come look at it. The constable's not going to come all the way and look at this. We have literally no proof of what we found. Uh, there's we lots of like necromantic. Bodies. Yeah, there's there's <laughs> a lot of proof. Yes, very clearly we should return all of the necromantic bodies to him. He really oh, appreciated okay. that mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, there are very specific tools, like these tools over here. They are necromancy tools. Shoddy, terrible, and. Uh, the craftsmanship that was made was absolutely awful. Uh, so, so you're judging this man's necromantic tools? Yes. 
You have you have deep knowledge of quality necromantic tools. <laughs> <laughs> Victor just like <laughs> stops, reaches into their bag, and pulls out their and like holds up their calligraphy set. Puts that back, takes out a a beautifully ornamented set of Tinker's tools. Oh, and it's like, yes, I do have opinions about tools, quite a few. I'm talking specifically about necromantic tools. These are very. Matches, they're messy. These, so maybe they're just dirty. It's no, you don't have to call them the Harbor Freight of necromantic tools. <laughs> Ro is in the south side. He's already asleep. Where the Harbor Freights are. I actually know the Harbor Freight. Okay. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it, is a, it is crude magic when you could build a body with science. It would make far more sense and be far more useful. All right, do it. <laughs> or <laughs> build a man instead of encouraging right, practicing will, we should gather what tools we can as evidence oh, and great. destroy the rest we have no idea what these implements are capable of this adventure took a turn when Victor became a necromancer. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, we knew who the big bad was, and he was in our party. Are these buttons? <laughs> you know, that's not out of the realm for Jack. No, look it's at not. You. <laughs> <laughs> look at you, Galen. <laughs> yeah. why, you gotta, why you gotta bring a bullshit? Why you gotta bring a bullshit? <laughs> that happened. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are these buttons? What? No. Buttons? The things that the 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 the, the different symbols. Oh, so the, it is a projected, essentially hologram, rotating uh, above the uh, the the plinth, the altar, and then it's got these. There's like a silver bowl in the center, and then the the four objects, right? The the cup of water, the uh, you said it before. Now I can't remember. Um, Mother of pearl. Mother, Mother of pearl. pearl. The basalt and then the burnt embers. Mm. So the the light itself, that the the images that are being are they being projected from what's ever in the bowl, like a reflection? Uh, there you see that there is a kind of a, a glistening pool of water in there. Indeed. Mm. Anyone thirsty? I don't think we should drink from that. I sn uh, sniff it. That's can pretty we, smart. Could we roll a, a nature check? Can I sniff could, it? You can roll nature or survival, and you can absolutely sniff it, Caracas. Uh, like, like a perception? Sure. Ooh. <laughs> uh, not, nine. Uh, it's probably water. What did you get, Penelope? I was going to say, hey, Druid, you want to maybe, I don't know, use your nature boost? <laughs> Uh, his name is Ro, uh, and he does not always like the term druid. I'm sorry, I forgot his name, completely honest. <laughs> and he looks like he's asleep. <laughs> May hey, hey, buddy. What? Buddy. <laughs> buddy. Ro. No, let him sleep. He's had a hard day. Hey, Ro. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> hey. We're looking could at this. Could you help us out? Yeah, could you could you come look at this and 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 mm. see if there's anything off about it? Or if yeah. you recognize this water? Type? Yeah. Water? Okay. It smells like water. Apparently it's Pokémon. Um yeah. What did you say I could roll? Nature, survival, whatever. Something earth related. Okay, we're gonna go survival. Okay, my friends, and uh, eighteen. Um, it's water. It's old water. It's been sitting there for a while. But you don't think it's anything beyond that? You woke me up to look at gross water. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to make sure it was okay because Caracas wanted to sniff it, and I just. I mean, it, it, 
It's fine. Okay, I'm so sorry. You Thanks go back for to thinking sleep. of me. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you for your help. And I, like wherever I went to to look at the water, I just lay back down right there. And go back to <laughs> I might want to dump the water. <laughs> uh, you can pull the bowl off for sure. <laughs> I, I, I moved the bowl. Uh, the uh, projection flickers and 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 stops. Mm, I did a thing. Put the ball back for a moment. Put, Put the back. ball back. Nothing. I broke it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I broke it. No, no, no. It's it is all it's right. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It clearly needs the water. Maybe it's thirsty. Maybe it's sentient. Sentient. No. Sen Feed me. Sentient. Now. It was worrying when he mentioned the eye. So, I mean, if we made the eye close, then that's not the bad thing, really. I would say disrupting whatever this is is not a bad thing. Agreed, Victor. I would say, ah, that is a good one, Lysander. I just put the ball on the ground. Uh, <laughs> they don't teach puns at Waterdeep College. I didn't take that one on one course, but... Uh, one of the things that you, as you uh, put the ball on the pun? ground... Um, <laughs> Now that it's not in uh, its position on the plinth, uh, inlaid in uh, what looks like onyx is the four symbols in like pie slices um, around the 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 outside, uh, around the the, the around upper the reaches of the interior of the bowl, right, leading down to that center eye, and it's around it. So it's like the eye, and then each of the symbols inside of the bowl. Maybe we should take bull. Does I anyone agree. have a spare vial? Maybe we could just take the water? <laughs> Reaches in and pulls out an Alembic. Here we go. Close enough. And I'll just dump, dump rest. This is type, okay. Put it on the ground, not on row. <laughs> you right. successfully get the water into the, into the vial. Yeah, and I just kind of throw the rest of it. Not on, not on row. Yeah, I'm not a bully. You literally. <laughs> okay. Are we keeping the bowl as well? Or are we yeah, just yeah, we'll keep the bowl. Keep the bowl. Yeah, sure. yeah. Keep okay. Anything this else you would like to do this evening? Mother of pearl bowl. Mother. 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 I don't know. Lysander sounds like sleepy time to me. Does sound like sleepy time. Uh, it sounds like food time and then sleepy time. We went yeah. all day without eating. Karak is happy with food, yes. All right. Is Give me settled? a moment. I'll whip something up. Ooh, nice. What do you whip up? Just so long as it does not crawl. Uh, well, we have trail rations, don't we? <laughs> you do. Tasty, tasty trail rations. Mm. Tasty, tasty trail rations. Uh, Lysander will do his best between all of the dried bits and dried veggies and like uh, sausages and jerky and stuff like that to Stop make it. something of a soup. That basically just throw everything into a pot with some water, boil it down, and try and get some of the flavor out. Uh, make a d20 roll with uh, your wisdom modifier. Um, I'm actually proficient in cooks, in cooks utensils. Then with your wisdom modifier and your proficiency modifier. Yeah, I do. I do things sometimes. Am I still poisoned? Uh, yes. Uh, no, oh it only, no, no, no. It only lasts an hour, and we can easily say an hour has passed with you investigating right. and looking around and things like that. Yeah, yeah. It's about to say. Seventeen. Uh, that is a tasty soup. Those mm. dried mushrooms are really nice. We even like we're able to like get the jerky to kind of reconstitute a little bit. Um, you were able to make like an airsoft like a matzo ball out of some of the like the hard tack, uh, and it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. I want to use the bowl. <laughs> no. Yeah, you did. I'm gonna use the mother the, of pearl bowl for my for soup. This, for this soup. Okay. Yeah. Is dear. Ly Lysander uses his own mess kit and hands <laughs> that to Caracas and goes, please. <laughs> oh. Are you gonna what All are you right. doing? Oh. I won't do it. If he wants to use the <laughs> <laughs> 
such like a plans bullet I just have. got dodged. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I have no poker face. It's fine. You're so mm -hmm. sad, though. <laughs> I'm a little bummed out. It's fine. Well, you, you I don't, 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 don't want to not accept Lysander's. Message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I understand. I'll just sit over here going, well, there goes that story. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, my God. I'm totally kidding. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll feed it to somebody else later. Okay. Sweet. Oh, God. Okay. Food. Anything else this evening before you go to sleep? Victor's just going to start working on, like, his gear. Okay. There's gear work. There is eating soup. Uh there is Lysander. There is Lysander. Uh, Lysander firstly um, apologizes to Victor for for having called him out in the heat of battle, and that clearly sometimes it is more prudent to assess the situation rather than just think bravado can overcome it. Uh, bravado overcomes everything. You're getting back on my good side. Keep that up. It's rock, Have paper, scissors, bravado. Sure. Have you ever considered a crossbow, Lysander? Whoa! Wow! That is disrespectful. Okay, there's a difference between not being able to wield a sword and being constantly beat down because you're near people with swords. <laughs> <laughs> From what I can right. see, he wields it just fine. It's the getting hit part that's a trouble, some issue. I would suggest maybe some dancing lessons so that he is more nimble. <laughs> you see, I, I was trying to offer a suggestion here. of, you know, options. You said he should take dancing lessons. I'm not sure who did so much the insulting, but you know. To be Cause... fair, I did try and tell him to pick up fighting, but instead he chose to read a book. There's nothing wrong with books, especially yeah, the ones with pictures. With I completely agree. It's why I'm well-versed in history. However, when you can't mm. hold your own in battle, it does cause some issues. He could hold his own for a brief period of time. Yeah, two minutes. <laughs> hey, two minutes is <laughs> more than enough time. It's been 15 minutes. We needed it. Yeah. Yeah, Lysander makes a big deal of like reaching into his bag and like pulling out like a fake uh, uh, sand time thing and like slowly turning it over and watching everyone as they talk about him like he isn't here. So now that that's over. What's, I don't understand the sand thing. He's, uh, it's a metaphor, darling. It's hourglass, okay. thank you, Slaymutha. An hourglass, because of course the bard can't think of what that's supposed to be. <laughs> I don't, what, what, but uh, why? I don't understand. Could you okay. explain it to me? I would like to learn your ways. It's a water explain deep Explain the thing. joke in detail. I'm from Waterdeep! You can't just say you can't just say it's a Waterdeep thing as a way of getting out of explaining it. Cause I'm literally from there and I don't understand what this is. <laughs> it's a nerd thing. I am being condescending to all of you. <laughs> Not me, I'm asleep. How dare you? Except for uh, Roe and Penelope. I didn't say And that. Caracas. Mm. You're, you're just Mostly right. just to Cavi. <laughs> <laughs> to Cavi and Victor. Myself and Victor. What did we ever do to you? We just wanted you to succeed. <laughs> Oftentimes, when you want right. someone to improve, you talk to them like they're actually present for the conversation. You are right. present! Yes! And let's... Oh, I speak to me! <laughs> Have you considered taking dancing lessons? Four years, tap, ballet, and merengue. Fighting's more of a salsa. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't dance much with the songs. In Cormier, they actually do it to Hoka. 
Wait, do they really? That's yes, fascinating. So Krakus goes to sleep. <laughs> Penelope just interjects and is like, "Okay, enough of this, please, because we all, we all really need sleep." I lay down next to Row. <laughs> just fall asleep Aww. next to Row. Row's got the right idea. Aww. I used to sing Row a, a lullaby when he was raising me in the forest. I'm already oh. asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Your captions! Your captions! <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently oh, through yeah. the trees. <laughs> and with that, there's we, a left track. We oh. fade to black as the party goes to sleep. Oh my god. And levels! Hey, level two! Hello! Yay. Woo! Go ahead and level one break. Um, we will be back right after these amazing messages from our sponsors and uh. me feeding my cat. That has to happen too. So we'll be back right after this. Love you, bye! Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. If you get a second during break, you should check out one of our amazing sponsors. We're now proudly sponsored by Roll20, the best virtual tabletop for all your role-playing needs. Over 4 million people use Roll20's virtual tabletop to power their favorite games. And with more modules than you can shake a stick at on their new revamped storefront, you'll definitely find something for your group to enjoy. Sign up today by clicking the link below or heading to roll20.net front slash start front slash WTTP. Tabletop Loot is an amazing place to get your dice, dice bags, dice boxes, and more. And now you can get 15% off your purchase at TabletopLoot.com by using the code WTTPDICE at checkout. Tabletop Loot. Your party starts here. While you're at it, check out our So Awesome merch store, So Nerdware. So Nerdware is the place to find all your Welcome to the Party merch and other amazing stuff, too. Head on over to SoNerdware.com and use the code WELCOME at checkout to get 10% off your next purchase. So Nerdware, it's what the nerds wear. Devin Rue, the amazing mistress of maps, has kindly supported the channel since the beginning and provides graphics for many of our streams. Head on over to RueInc.com to check out some of the best fantasy cartography on the web. Our Patreon supports the creators and producers of the channel by providing Roll20 subscriptions, cost coverage for video hosting, and more. If you want to support the channel while getting podcasts a week early, gaming articles that are published on Patreon first, a shout-out during our break, and more, head on over to patreon.com front slash welcomepartyrpg and throw us a buck or five. And last, but certainly not least, help out the party. Subs and bits not only support the stream, but also, every 500 bits or a tier 1 sub gives a player or DM of your choice a reroll or system equivalent. And every 1000 bits or tier 2 sub gives a player or DM of your choice a crit or system equivalent. Thanks again for hanging out with us today. The game will be back in just a few minutes. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.
One. All right, clap welcome back, ass. everyone. <laughs> clap that ass. Just clap it. Just clap every piece of it. All the different pieces. Because asses come in pieces, right? I will ask you, are butt legs? They're they're the top of the legs. They're like the, so, the, yes. le the leg extension of, of, of butt. Are we talking <laughs> about a piece of ass? The, dick spiders? The, Dick spiders? Yeah, dick spiders. Yes. I don't is know that what that is, but I'm, I'm afraid. Dick Dicks for legs. Attorney at law. Uh, CR 30 creature. Um, yeah. I feel like yeah. this is the proper music for dick spiders. Just think of them crawling on you. Mm -mm. I'm mm. good. That's weird. <laughs> Detachable penis. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to our campaign, y'all. Yeah. We're sorry. Yeah, can't help it. This is who we are. Um, can't help it. Anyways, welcome back. We've just taken a long rest. Our party has leveled, and they have found out there was a strange necromancer who was worshipping or in contact with this strange elder elemental eye thing um, due to a, an ace history roll and an ace arcana roll. Um, the team figured some stuff out down here, sent down here as they were, um, by the barkeep, or not the barkeep, but the owner of the, I will never remember the name of this damn inn, the Swinging Sword Inn, 
um, who offered them 50 gold to go and stop whatever the hell was happening down there. It is now the next morning. We are fully rested, fully leveled, and what happens next? We get up and we leave, no? We should head back! Yes. We should. We have much to report. We have much to report. Excellent. All right. Gather so, all of our stuff. And... Yeah, yeah. Easy peasy. You make your way out. Uh, the first thing you notice is everything seems just a, a shade more vibrant um, than it was when you came in. As if whatever the like necromantic pall that had been cast over this area is slowly beginning to lift. Uh, things aren't quite so brittle. The dirt feels a little, looks a little bit more brown um and and like full of you know good nutrienty goodness for those of you who know dirt things um it looks more like a living place as you exit um i would like one survival check from someone to navigate you all back to red larch uh rosef would you do that <laughs> 17 17. Uh, easy enough. Yeah. Um, it's not that hard to retrace your steps. It is kind of this hilly sort of, not wasteland, but like uh, kind of rolling grassy sort of area, right? And so a lot of it looks alike, but you get yourself oriented in the right direction. Soon enough, you find yourself on the way back to Red Larch. Um, making your way into town, everything seems to be normal. It's not a market day. It's kind of just a, a boring day in town. Folks are moving around the streets. Uh, where are you heading? It does take about four hours to get back. So it's about half a day to get there. Or half a, like, half a daylight. Um, Lysander will suggest that some of us return to the Swinging Sword in order to collect the bounty, while the rest of us head on to the Sheriff in order to report what we've seen. I don't think that we should split up. I think we should all go together. Because I don't think that we should miss that. Then, if that's the case, I suggest the sword first. The constable can wait. Yes, let's I keep the constable let waiting. Know that we're not dead. Uh, what was that, Victor? We should also let Linus know that we are not dead. Yes, letting, we should check on him. Letting people know that we are alive is probably in our best interest. Especially since he'd probably run away if not. Okay, so we go to the swinging sword. Okay. Uh, making your way over to the Swinging Sword, uh, as you know, it's kind of the really nice inn in town. Um, it's, uh, got a kind of an open area there in the front where you kind of walk through, and there's some carts over to the side, uh, and you make your way in, and, uh, uh, let me get to her name real quick, Kaylisa is actually working behind the bar right now, and as she sees you, her eyes kind of brighten up, but she, she's also kind of working, so she's gonna wait for you to approach her, it looks like. Lysander does. Oh, welcome back. Um, what did you what did you find out there? Harrowing things, but nothing we couldn't overcome. Well, that's good. Have we seen the end of the strangeness in the valley? For the time being, at the very least, uh, we found the culprit who was causing the goings on that the miners were complaining about. He leans in, a necromancer. No. Really? I would not lie. I don't Let's think he could if he tried. Fair. Um. That's what you're for, Cavi. And and you've ended the threat of this necromancer. By blood spell and steel, yes, we did. No more necromancing. Oh. No, it was yes. it was it was just just blades. And did you find out how he was connected to the <laughs> what's going on in the valley? Not entirely. There, there was a, some sort of strange dais with, with, with um, Victor, you explain. It had these symbols. Um, let me show you. And grab a piece of paper and draw them out in beautiful well, calligraphy. Yeah, I, I, I don't know those symbols, really. Um, thank you. Oh, yeah, nicely done. 
Yes, we've done. Um, oh, this no, I don't. This is the second time you've seen this one. Pointing at the earth one. I, 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 do, you, do you know what they mean offhand? They appear to be uh, symbols of the elements. This one specifically is earth. Huh. This is this is beyond my understanding. I uh, the, uh, I have no arcane knowledge whatsoever. What is it? What do they mean? Like, is it a is it a spell? Is it is it some sort of like protection thing? What? That I am not entirely sure of. Oh. I mean, as far as we know, it's it's a symbol for Earth that's weird. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you know it's a symbol for Earth. But you know it's Earth, Air, Fire, Water, and something to do with the middle eye. But Heart. Heart. Yes. <laughs> Water. With your powers combined. No? I'm like Captain Planet, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. 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 So, bro. Okay. Uh, sorry, I had to write down. I responded Thank to everything. Uh-huh. Uh, um, would, would you happen to have a library? I know it is a small town, but do no. you have anything or anybody that could possibly... The closest... There may anything? be some... Uh, well, Valavo, I know, sells books. Um, the All Face Shrine probably has a few religious tomes, but in general, no. Uh, the, the nearest library, I believe, is probably either in Tribor or Waterdeep. I have a question. Yes. Um, do you know who the oldest person in town is that we may go speak to about things of oldness? The oldest person in town? Like an elder old? or someone. Oh, I mean... Preferably someone wise and knowledgeable, with maybe lots of experience. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, kind of. Um, who would? I'm trying to think about who I should send you to. Uh, watch be the constable. If it's multiple people, that's fine too. No. Uh, <laughs> there's an an old shepherd, shepherd. named Larman. Shepherd. Where does where can we find him? Uh, I believe he stays at Mother Yolanthus, um when he's in and when he's not actually working the fields. Mother Yolanthus. Yeah. What was his name again? Uh, uh Larman. Larman. L A R M O N. Yeah. He's probably the oldest person in town. <laughs> probably 6570 still every day works with his flock. Well, that's good. I assume that he's a human. He is. Why would you say that? Well, if he's 65 or 70 and an elf, it wouldn't be very old. That's true. <laughs> We're a that's mostly why human settlement. I've noticed. I've been half orc. There's, there's some other. But, you know, whoever comes through, we're happy to see. Uh, do you have a copy of the census we could look at? I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, what? <laughs> no, I don't. Well, okay. Look, I'm, I don't have a census. No. Uh, I do have your money, however. Uh, you, you've you obviously done the deed, and I owe you for that. And uh, she pulls a bag out from under the. and pulls, uh, counts out 50 gold uh, in 10. in five platinum pieces. So you have five platinum. Yeah. Platinum. Because Fantastic. one. One platinum is ten gold, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. So yeah. This is fascinating and wonderful. I like platinum. It's uh shinier. Uh, it's worth more. Well, it's yeah. I, t I guess. Um. Really, if so there's anything I can platinum? do. What? How many platinum? Sorry. Five. Five platinum. You got the 50 gold and 100 silver. Did someone put that in the, the group? Yeah. So you got two jets worth 50 gold apiece, 50 gold in regular gold, and 100 silver. Mm -hmm. Plus this 50 gold in 
five uh, platinum. So hopefully someone's keeping track of that, because I'm not going to keep track of your shit. It's not me. I, could you repeat it one more time, and then we're good. Okay. I got it. I, got it. I got okay. it. I got it. Five got platinum, it. Okay. 150 Chris got gold, it. 100 silver, and an unidentified wand. Y'all. Um, is there anything else? Uh, are you enjoying your stay here? I'm, we didn't see you come in last night. I was very worried. The journey was far, and the danger harrowing. We decided to camp for the night before returning. It was already dark. Of course. Of course. Well, if you but need to as... eat... as... Mm. Yes, please. Of course, we'll get you set up. Well, uh, I feel myself being a little bit peckish. Perhaps something for the road. Uh, everybody can make a perception check for me. Mm. Launch your uh, table. Ha! It's a hot 11. 22. Five. Karakas, are you okay with those rolls, buddy? 13. 14. Penelope? I win. I got a nat 20, and then what was the stat? Don't worry about it. You got a nat 20. Uh, Penelope and Ro. Ro, you notice that uh, one of the barmaids here seems to be paying attention very closely to your conversation. Uh, Penelope, you realize that she's writing something down. Very, like, on the sly. So, like, I want to, I want to, like, lock eyes with Penelope. Make sure, like, we both saw this. And I want to start walking over to him. Fight Lysander for that. Um... And she just kind of nods and just slowly approaches kind of behind you from a distance and sits like a few seats away. This is a barmaid? Yeah. Is she like at the bar or what is, where, where is she? Where she is she? looks like she was uh, she uh, was faking kind of wi wiping down some mugs um, and had some mugs up near her at the bar um, but was jotting down some notes very quickly uh, in between wipings. Okay. I'm going to sit there and I'm going to, I'm going to order a drink. Like, hey, hi. Um, oh, hello. What, what's your favorite drink here? Oh, I like the ale. It's, it's, it's homemade. We make it here. I want some of that. Of course. And she brings you over now. Cool. Um, what were you writing down? Oh, I was just keeping track of my orders. While you're cleaning mugs, huh? Yeah, it helps me. It's weird. Well, I help order the food. Do I, do I believe her? Uh, make a insight check. <laughs> Five. She seems on the level. That's cool. Yeah. How much do I owe you? Silver. Did was the paper still? That's what I'm saying. Like, did I, was that the paper bad. where he sat down at, or like, she put it away it, as he moved over? Like on her person, or yeah, it, she cap? tucked it into like her apron. That's my charisma. No, I'm not gonna flirt with her. Never mind. Um. Yeah. Damn. I know we were all looking forward to it. It's fun. <laughs> Damn. It's okay. You'll get the bathhouse later. Um, hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, shit. So she's going to just watch where she ends up going. So Penelope's just kind of, again, <laughs> back around, like kind of hiding. And is just like. Uh, she will, for the rest of her shift, be a perfect worker. Okay. Bro, well, what you drinking? Ale. It's not. It's all right. It's not bad. Hmm. You wanna try it? Not really. I thought you were gonna flirt with that barmaid when you came over here. I. I wasn't feeling it. I feel weird. Why do you feel weird? 
Is this a beer? Know. Are you drunk? Are you tipsy? No. No. Okay. You got friend zoned. No. That fast? That's a record. If that's that, that that's Ka- true. Cavi, you know better. Um, <laughs> that's true. My big brother's a player. Player. <laughs> no. no that's... Damn y'all. Um... Yeah, you're from Waterdeep, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so at one point, Penelope's going to signal her over. Um, and yes, ma'am. Proceed, and proceed to like talk to her and just like, um, could I have um your best ale you've got? Uh, of course, it's uh, four silver. Great, thank you. And she'll mm-hmm. give her the money. And as the barmaid walks away, does pickpocketing need to have like an actual ability, or can I just? Try it's it? sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Damn it! Yeah. it! All right, never mind. <laughs> you can try it untrained. Well, you're Dexy. I am Dexy. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'll roll and see if I can, like... Use an advantage. Oh, use an advantage. Did someone yeah, tell me advantage. to do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will use an advantage. So. For advantage remain. Thirty twenty. 20 Yeah. Not bad. Okay. Well. Yeah, uh, I'll keep it. You're going to keep it? Wait, you said you were using the advantage, right? Yeah. Well, you always take the better of the Eh. two anyways. Yeah, okay. All right, well, the 20, not 20 and the three, so 23. Uh, Oh. As she's turning, uh, I'm I'm interested in how you do this. You do it. You rolled a nat 20. But I'm, I'm interested in how you... She has it, like, in one of her front pockets, so, because she's put it in an apron pocket, how you yoink it out of there? Um, it's, as she goes to give her the chain, she notices that her hand is a little bit closer to her pocket, kind of guarding, mm-hmm. so as she does that, she goes and she'll put the the coins like this and with her pinky and just kind of, like, think away and under. Oh, so, like, a slide it's of, real, like yeah, a, yeah, it's yeah. real, it's just, like, and just, I like it. Yeah, you, you've got a piece of paper. David Yay. Blaine street magic going on. Well done. So I now have a piece of paper and just chilling, drinking you ale. Do. She signals the, the crew to come over to come sit. And we can <coughs> d- discuss the... Uh, What'd you find, stuff. Penny? I found... I, I, I got the note that she was writing on. Was it who was writing on? The the barmaid. I I saw her her writing on on this piece of paper as we were talking to. Um... Is it Rose's name by any chance? I don't know. Let's open it. And so she like indulges and opens it. It's like perhaps I don't know. God, what is it? Say? Victor is keeping an eye out, out for the barmaid. Yes, I am doing the same. Okay. Uh, as you open it, uh, it says uh, tell Justrin, and then there are some bullet points. Uh, J-U-S-T-R-I-N. Uh, Thank you. And uh, it is six adventurers. Necromancer. Found proof. Mm-hmm. What next? Heard of anyone named Justin yet? I need... I need... And this is very critical... To isolate that bar maiden. Hey. So that we may question her. You may not know this, but I am a very intimidating person, and I can extract the information from her that we need. Why don't we try a, a, a simpler approach? Hand. Yes. She's about to come <clears throat> back anyway, so let let... Let me handle handle this. Uh, I will... At least two of you have met this person. Je- it's Jestrin. It's a J-U-S-T. Jestrin. All right. Yeah. I was at looking least, at that. Yeah, at least two of you have met this person before. Or yes, you, um, at least two of you have heard someone with that name before. J-E-S-T-R-E-N. I misspelled it. I'm sorry. Lysander, at hearing the name, uh, will rub softly at his beard and then turn to Penny, tap lightly on the shoulder, and go, My lady... Uh, did we not hear of a gestrin at the helm at High Sun, the tavern across the street? I, 
I believe we did. I, I actually can't recall. We've been through a lot lately. Um, but I, I believe so. But even more of a chance for us to ask her if, if we can find this person. Like, where Indeed. we can find him. The fact that she is keen on telling what I assume was just an assistant there and not Garland, the proprietor, is curious. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we need to intimidate them. I think we need more to go on. All this is is just someone taking notes on us. We do not know if for purpose, either weal or woe. But we should tell her to stop. She may be a possible ally. We're not sure. We should feed her false information. Let me see the notes. Yep. Victor is going to take out a, another piece of paper. What and she comes over with the note? ale, or she's heading back over right now. Oh. So just tuck that away for a moment. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, you have friends. Can I get you something as well? I have uh, ale. Okay. Mm -hmm. Round I was, also, one, uh, oh, I was yeah. also wondering if... Um, have, have you talked to Jestrin lately? Do you, do you, would you happen to know where, where I could find him? Um, Jestrin... I... Who works across the street? Yes, 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 yes. Does, does he reside somewhere else, or would he be just generally over at the Helmet High Sun? Oh, I, I don't know where he lives. He's a cellarer there. Okay. Well, thank you very much. If you could just go get our friend's ale, that'd be great. Absolutely. Uh, I'm Galita. If you need anything, just call for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cavi, like, like, leans on the table. She is hiding something, and I will find out what it is. Roll to prove it. <laughs> I need her isolated. I will extract the information that we need. We shall do no harm whilst we are in town. We tell the constable. This is not harmful. Can I roll an insight? <laughs> yeah. Sixteen. Uh, are you planning on being harmful to this person? No. <laughs> Listen, you do not have to physically harm someone to scare them. But why would you want to scare her? She has done nothing wrong besides take a note. She may just be trying to relay information. She is spying on us, and, and I must. We uh, must know why. And However, not all spies are this bad. Entire town. What is your point? Thank you, Victor. Last I checked, the company we all belong to values discretion over brute force. We're what? Hey, 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. I said isolate. I'm not saying we're going to chain her up in the middle of the street and start yelling at her. We already did that. Move the wheel. <laughs> that was someone else. <laughs> and she comes back over with a tray of ales. <clears throat> Thank you, you dear. You're welcome. You're welcome. He takes the tray away. Do you want any food or anything? Not right now. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Just call for me. What? I'm sorry. Your name was Galita. Galita. You Galita. 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 Yep. Galita. Thank you yep. very much. Galita. Cavi, I understand the need that we need to get to the bottom of this, but Victor and Penelope are correct. What we may be costing ourselves by approaching this in a more aggressive manner is the trust of the town, which our company has addressed as a, a, an asset that we need to attain. Word gets around in these small villages. If we do something to one of them, they will talk. Yes, that's exactly my, that's my, that's my entire point. Someone is talking about it. So she is talking about it because she has, she is going to try and help somebody conceal the necromancy. We're not sure about that. Now. We have to find out. That's where the discussion comes in. Why don't, why we, don't we just watch this Justrin, see what exactly. he does? Exactly. Caracas, thank you. Thinking ahead as always. We and, know who <laughs> she means yeah. to tell. 
If that is the case, could we not, perhaps even yourself, Kavi, use your adeptness with the shadows to follow her, perhaps? Listen in on whoever it is that she goes to speak to? We know that she means to talk to Jestrin. Perhaps there are others, but we're not sure what exactly their intent is. And until we know that, acting could be very dangerous for us. Brother, he's making a lot of sense. Listen here, Ro. Uh -oh. <laughs> you should no listen one, to your brother. He's no one dude. ever believes that I can get the information. No, no, through no. Through intimidation. This is how it always goes. Every single time. You know, Everyone's, I don't think that. Because you've seen me work. I have. You're really good at it. I, I saw you get other voice with the coin. Caracas knows. See, I, I don't know. We need that now. Yeah. Should it's, it... Go ahead, Ram. Just saying, like, maybe maybe we try Should... it the other ways first. This time. Should their intentions hurt. with us be foul, then yes, by all means, put the fear of Bane into them. Yes. But until I can help. we know that, <laughs> it's very hard for us to make the first move here. We need Car more information. Caracas, while this is going on, you actually notice Galita is talking to uh, the lady who runs the Helmet High Sun, Kalissa. And then as you're watching, she takes off her apron. She looks a little panicked. But you're the only one who notices it. Well, um... And then she leaves. If, if you excuse me, I have to go... Caracas is the only person. I roll for everybody. Oh, so, yeah. oh sorry. So, no intimidation. <laughs> Got it. Fine. Not yet. We'll, tr we'll try it your fucking way, okay? It is simple. We create a false note that is close to the one that she had, get it back into her pocket, and then we follow her and, you know, see who she Or we is. just... It might be those people with the masks at the quarry, for instance. I could always just give her the note back and say it fell out of her pocket. I think being more direct than already has been is going to wind up being a problem. Oh, what if she's by already the, known? By the way, she left a while ago. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, God. <laughs> you you stop us out, you bitch! Ah! <laughs> Everybody, all the, like, chatter stops for a second and everyone stares at you. <laughs> Which way did she go? Out the front door. Kavi will stand up and march to the front door. It's been three or four minutes. Yeah, you can make a perception check. Seven. No. Yeah. <laughs> um. Is she still there? Kavi just looks <laughs> behind and just whips off the entire table. <laughs> Penelope just gets up, just deadpan, is just like, God damn it, and goes over to, um... Did I do something wrong? It, it was not you, dear. It was just this whole interaction. <laughs> um... Why can I never remember her name? Kalissa? Kalissa. Kalissa, yeah. Thank you. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, she left, like, three, four minutes ago. Wait, Kalissa? Frick! Kaylisa left or Galita no. left? No, no, Galita. So, Galita. Galita left. Okay, well, I'm going to go talk to Kaylisa and see if I can find her and just be like, oh, well, something fell out of her pocket about halfway through the bar. I'll okay. make it look like she dropped it and just. Oh, yeah, thank did you. you. Is it going to be the same note or did you want? No, it would be the same note. So the whole point is if like when you go to steal <laughs> things, this is going to sound really weirdly pro. When you go to steal things and like from people, you want to make sure it looks as inconspicuous when you go to put it back. So yes. Penny's, Penny's logic behind this is it's like, oh, I saw something fall halfway across the floor. I have the note already stashed in between my fingers on my hand. I'm going to go over to a spot, pick it up off the floor where I saw her walk through, tell Kelisa that she dropped it, and have her return it to Galita. 
that way it doesn't look like anything happened. It just looks like we were in discussion and I caught something happen. Plus judging her reaction might be interesting. Indeed. One moment before you take the, the note and Victor is going to scrawl something on it really quickly. But it like puts the pen to paper but nothing shows up. So, What are you That's doing? Um, using magical tinkering it will on a command uh, have a six second long recorded message. What's the, uh, well you have to speak to it because you're recording it. Uh. <laughs> you have to be like, no, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. Leans into it. I'm over here. I'm over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. I like it. It's got a little, little trap on it now. Okay. Sweet. And you can have, I think, uh, the three of those up at a time. Is that right? Yeah. You don't have any others I right have... now. I'm just trying to remember because Artifice yeah. is a new class. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I can have f uh, four of them currently. Okay, cool. Uh, sweet. Yeah. Uh, yeah you. <laughs> uh, and then Penelope, you. Oh, no. Go. I do have another one still running. Okay. So Penny just kind of is just like, ew. Okay. And just folds it back the way it was. And yep. Proceeds to do what she says is like she goes and she takes the the um bends over, grabs the the note off the floor, yeah. walks over to Kaylee's and is like, Excuse me, I believe your barmaid had dropped this on the floor. I just saw it fall out of her pocket as she took off her apron. Oh no, she just she just left. Um Uh yeah, would, I would guess. Would you mind I holding just... on to her? I don't I don't know if it's anything important, but would you mind holding it on like holding on to it for her? Of course, yeah. Uh I, I can I can give it back to her when she comes back for her next shift. Great. When would that be? Well, I, she I was supposed to work the rest great. of the night. Um, she said she wasn't feeling well. So hopefully tomorrow around three afternoon um, is when she comes in. She normally works dinner, dinner service. If she's feeling well, I hope. Oh, I hope she feels better too. We loved her service. She was great. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much. We'll be, we'll be on our way out soon. Don't worry. We won't take up all the space over there. Okay. No, you, you're staying here. You can sit in the in the pub. It's fine. Okay, okay. Well, thank yeah. you. And she just heads back to her table. Okay. How'd she take it? <clears throat> fine. Um, she said that she took off because she wasn't feeling well, so she may have been headed off to the, the Helmet High Sun to go talk to Jastrin. Then we need to find her. <laughs> Kavi is already out the door. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching you the whole time. I was like, he's already gone. There's no way. <laughs> oh, Kelvy right. left a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Caracas, really? <laughs> Once I could understand. <laughs> it's like, well, let's let let's go then. Um, we still need to go talk to the constable. So best we we do that, and then we can try and follow. That way it doesn't look like super obvious that we're following. Copy would be able to follow her much easily than the five of us. Exactly. Can... So so let us let us go do that. Kavi's apparently doing his own shtick because that's what he wants to do currently. Split the party and die on his own. That's fine. And he's pretty resourceful, honestly. I I have no doubt about his resourcefulness. I, mean... I have full faith in him, but if something were to if shit hits the fan, then he's kind of on his own. He is, but he likes it that way sometimes. That's, it's that's his fair. way. He is well okay. trained. We well, all are. Let's, let's go ahead and go to the constable's office and go talk to him and see how he's doing. All right, so we're going to split scene here. Uh, scene one. We're going to start with Kavi, and then we'll go to the constable's office. Kavi. Mm-hmm. You are not I, with the group, correct? You were going to try and figure out the helmet high sun thing. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, all right. So you know, it's across. It's literally right across the street. Uh, there was a large yeah. bathtub, essentially, that got beaten into the shape of a helm as the helm, and it's been painted some crappy color of yellowish gold. Um, but otherwise, it's a nice, you know, middle of the road in. Uh, I'm gonna walk in. Um. What, what are the the patron? How many patrons are in here? There's like six people in here right now. Yeah, it's a a, a couple, a three together, two together, and one by themselves. Okay. Uh, 
Kavi uh, it stands kind of tall, uh, tall for a halfling in this instance. Uh, his chest kind of puffed out. Well, hello there. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, this kind of uh, ruddy, jovial, older gentleman comes up to you and goes, well, welcome. I, uh, can I seat you? Um, I'm, I'm Garland. I'm the owner here. Garland, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Kavista. Well, welcome, Kavista. Can I get you a drink, some food, something? Oh, well, what do you got? Uh, we, we have your normal rod gut. We have relatively good ale brewed right across the street. Um, some higher level uh, stuff and then some spirits at the, the very top end. Oh, I think I'd like a spirit. Of course. Uh, we've got dragon's breath, dwarf gut, and halfling heel. Well, I think that kind of sounds... Delicious. Those were three different drinks. Oh, uh, I meant the halfling eel. Oh, right. It's a kind of minty drink. I think you like it. Yeah, minty. I yes. like mint. Uh, and he comes back out and he goes, it's uh, uh, five silver. If there's anything I can do for you while you're here, let me know. Yeah, well, uh, I've been... Obviously, I'm not from around here. I've been traveling through from here I've seen there. you've been here for a few days. Indeed, but, uh, you know, I'm just trying to get a lay of the land, see who's who and what's what. And, uh, well, you're the well, best inn in 50 fun. miles. Best inn in 50 miles. Best tavern in 50 miles. Best inn. Best tavern. You feel that it's a little difficult to run a good business when you're selling the best ale from the, the brewery across the street? No. Uh, they get profits from us buying it, and not everyone wants their higher class feel to the place, and so we both get profit off of it. Well, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, I can understand how you can make a good profit off that. Uh, you don't you have another uh, another uh, bartender over here? Uh, one of my compatriots yeah. was mentioning. Uh, you, do you mean Jestrin? He's not a really, he's a cellarer. He helps me keep everything stuck. Uh, well, I'm not so uh, up to the date on the terminology. Of course. Yeah, he's a, uh, he's the stockist. Aren't we all? Um, anyway, uh, my compatriots, uh, compatriots, they uh, said he was a pretty nice fella. And I was wondering if really? he was around. Yeah. He's a horrible shit. I don't know what they did. I, I don't know him because well, he's technically owns part of the business, but oh, how how much of the business does he own? Thirty. If I don't mind, that's a high percentage for a piece of shit. Oh well, there, well, well, there is, he, <laughs> money's money if you know what I mean. Uh, I understand. Well, three of us own the place: uh, myself, uh, my older brother who's retired in Waterdeep, and then Jestrin bought in. Oh, yeah. fascinating. Uh, is he here right now, or is he out? I think he's here. Thought I saw his girlfriend come in. Oh, his girlfriend. Yeah. Ah. I imagine as a business owner, a lot of people are chomping at the bit to connect themselves to that wealth. Duh. I mean, we do all right. Indeed. I would say he has a lot of money behind his name. I mean, he's got 30% of this, doesn't he? Well, yeah. But a lot of overhead here, and he likes to spend his money. That's his business, not mine. We all have our vices. <laughs> anyway, thank you for the drink. I do appreciate it. How much do I owe you for this? Five silver. Five silver. Mighty fine drink. And with that, we'll cut to the team constable. Yeah. You make your way to the constable. Uh, Pella is hanging around, and she's like, hey, what's going on? Uh, she kind of comes up to you. You made it hey, back. Kid. We did. Victorious, no less. Keeping out of trouble here? I'm doing my best. I'd rather be in <laughs> trouble. Did you guys go to the haunted uh, place that I told you about? We did. And it turns out you were right. 
are you purposefully lying to her or are you forgetting that there were two different places? Uh, I'm forgetting <laughs> that there were two different places and I thought we went to the place that hell said. I'm just checking. To. No. Uh, uh, remember, yeah, shoot, she was the uh, kind of the, the burial mounds where she saw right, the ghost. burial mounds. Right. I yeah, thought yeah, yeah, yeah. that she was also yeah. talking about the mine. So, no. Nope. Uh, ret retcon. We go backwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, Lysander goes, we haven't looked into it yet, but there was something else strange in the area that we managed to take care of. Oh, what did you find? <laughs> Penny just kind of smacks him upside the head and is just like, ah, ah. Oh, oh, come <laughs> on! I got this You cool found ball. zombies? Whoa, look at that bowl! That's got to be worth, like, 20 gold. Mm, maybe. It's like real Lysander. silver. <laughs> Lysander looks at Penny and goes, stories like this are exactly why... You and I wound up together. This inspired me. Let her have this. Found a zombie? Oh, not one zombie. There was a lot of them. Mm, it was yeah. really dangerous, actually. But you know, so we cool. smashed the boys. Some of them were dancing. Uh, one was dressed as a bear. That was weird. Well, uh, I, well, you guys gotta let me go with you on the next thing you do. Come on, when you go check out the ca I, I gave you that information. When you go out to the graveyard, can you please take me with you? Please. If your parents say yes, then sure, why not? They said yes. You're not bringing... No. How do we know? <laughs> I know exactly who how how you are. I was the exact same way when I was your age. Where are your parents? <sighs> if you really want us to trust you, you've got to tell us the truth. Fine, constable. Group is here. Do you guys have a name or something? Penelope and her friends are here to see you. All right. And then the door opens. Guys. Lysander, like, turns around for a little bit. He's like, yeah, I guess that would be our name. Penelope and the Chaos Crew. <laughs> <laughs> Victor actually stays back with the kid. Maybe. Oh, like hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. That's a, that's a great <laughs> idea. Talk is fine. Lysander supports it. You literally like it. gave her a sword. No. <laughs> yes. Yes. Fine, uh, keep her out of trouble. Do not help her get into it. What's going on, team? We just want to let you know that we okay. um we we took care of a an errand for God damn it, Kaylisa. Oh yeah? What 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 sort of errand? Um, well, she had told us about was it the mine? Lance Rock. The mines of Lance Rock. There we go. Thank you. The mines of Lance Rock um, and, and how there were some strange things going over there. So we went to go look at it and, and take care of it. And we um, ran into a necromancer who had all these undead, but we took care of it. I mean, we're all still here. We're still kind of alive, slightly scarred, but we're alive. Um, we didn't break so, them back this time. That's amazing. Um, yes, good we, job. We, we made sure to not carry the bodies back, but we did have, have a um, Caracas, Caracas, take out, take out the bolt. Show him, show him what we found at the the thing. So we this. found this at the necromancer's. I, I guess you could call it a bedroom, although I'm not sure exactly how. His secret how lair. Sleeping. We'll call it a secret lair, sure. Um, and we we found this, but we weren't exactly sure where to take it or if if there was anything really more to it than if it was just a bolt. Do you know um, what we could go to to maybe ask for some information? I mean, you should... Valavo's not good at keeping a secret. Well, is there I'm vaguely else aware Valavo? of why you're here. So why don't you go talk to Valavo? Okay. I have no idea what this is. I think you did a great job removing this necromancer. Uh, are you looking for a reward? But I don't have any arcane knowledge. I'm I'm not a, a magic. There, in fact, isn't really a magic user in town. But if anybody would know, it's the person it's who valid. is similarly adjusted to you all. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I know we had talked to um, Kalisa about it, and she mentioned him as well. I just wanted to make sure. We just want to let you know we killed the evil. Yeah, we talked to that guy, and then you know. Did he want a reward or something? With... Yeah. Well, we received well, no, I wasn't going to give you a reward. I just was... Well, then why would you offer? That's not nice. I don't know. He wasn't offering. He was asking if that was what we expected. I didn't yeah. expect that, but evidently they did. 
but I was just hoping you could provide some more information so we had a, a yeah. determined set of directions. Yeah, I mean, I, when it comes to help. arcane stuff, I mean, that's that's the guy who's going to know more than anybody else, really. Um, but um, maybe I, I can give you something else? No, that's totally okay. Would you also happen to know who um, Pell's parents are? Yeah, uh, they run the uh, the Henry right across the street. Awesome. The chickens, that's right. Yes, the chickens, the chickens. Okay, thank you. Do you know if they're home all the time or if they... Most of the time, work? yeah, they tend to the, the, the chickens. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's go, uh, y'all. Real quick, real quick, real quick before uh, we yeah. leave. Yeah, yeah, The way that she spoke about Valavo, can I make an insight check? Does she know what we are? She, you don't even need to make a, an insight check. He heavily he? winked at you, like the, the constable knows we're harpers. Okay, essentially, he knows. Okay, he knows that you're working with Valavo at the very Eight. least. Okay, and and therefore probably knows that Valavo is also a harper. Okay, he knows that he's something at the very least. Yeah, he knows that he's something. Yeah. Okay, that's all maybe, I needed. Maybe he thinks he's his enter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Smash got two Kavi. Um, I would like to like sit at one of the bars or, or one of the, the like a table in the tavern. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to essentially wait until I believe I see the two of them. Uh, okay. Jester and then uh, Galita. Uh, how long are you willing to wait? Mm, like thirty minutes. You mean even or odd? Uh, me rule? Even no, or no, odd? No, 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 no. Just tell me oh. even or odd. Uh, uh, odd. Over the next half hour, nothing happens. Smash cut two! Everyone else. Do you want to go back to the with about Pell this? during this whole thing? Yes, you wanted to talk to Pell. <laughs> yeah. So um, Victor's gonna sit like down on the steps with with the kid. Yeah. So you want to go and fight some undead? I I I I want to live an adventuring life. Why? It's better than this. Y'all just took out a necromancer. That's awesome. You're helping people. You're fighting bad guys. I bet you got a ton of money. Look at that silver bowl. That's cool. And we almost died. Mother of Pearl. I would imagine the danger goes with it. Thoroughly. Um, honestly, we got lucky, but... Hold on. Doing some quick math. Around 12 other people did not. Those were the people we fought. Well, they were undead, right? You probably dug them up from a grave somewhere or something, right? Or they were former adventurers. Some of them were dancing, as I mentioned. They were possibly from this even this town. What are you trying to the say? I, mention, I want you to know what you're getting into. It is dangerous. It is thrilling. It is unlike anything you will ever experience and you might survive and they might sing songs about you or you might be dead in a ditch within a week yeah but you i could get to... run over by a cart and be dead in a ditch in a week you could it happened to billy what oh. i think you're missing is that going on adventuring is like intentionally running in front of carts every day just seeing if you die or not I'm just saying you can fall down a flight of stairs, you get hit by lightning, you get turned into a zombie. It's just about where you are when you when you bite it, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm going to die as an adventurer. I'll be smarter than no that. No one does. No one does. No one does. How old are you? But you 16. live long 16. enough. <laughs> and you can do really cool things like this. And I think all of you for the first time would notice that Victor is wearing a new bracer on his left hand. And out from the bracer shoots uh, the quarterstaff. Oh. Which is now, like, decorated and, and 
full of ornaments. It's like you That's can make cool. really interesting tools. That is really I want to do that. <laughs> what can can you do anything? What what's what What's um, your stick? How are you with tools? I'm not great with tools, but like check this out. I'm gonna try something, okay? I'm gonna try something. Yeah, yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's do the class test. <laughs> I'm gonna concentrate really hard and yeah. close my eyes. Yeah. And I'm going to spin a spell slot. Or not mm-hmm. spell slot, but uh I'm gonna wild shape into a bear. What the crap? Mm. How Holy did he, hell! What did you even? How do you? What, mm. what, what did this happen? I don't even want to get with oh, you. Did a you bear. wake up with a bear this morning? Mm. No? Okay. That's so cool! Mm. Why don't you. Mm. Huh? Mm. Or oh, things like this happen? He's so furry. Uh, can I pet you? Can I pet you? Mm-hmm. Penny. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, scritch, 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 scritch behind the jaws. Oh, oh, oh. That's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. Penny, he's a goddamn bear. <laughs> <laughs> there it was. There it was. <laughs> He just looks at you and is just like, why? Then my sender looks back like, what are you talking about me? Is this just not fucking weird? No. <laughs> that is pretty excellent. Oh, I'm the only one who doesn't think this is weird. All right. I just you want just to wrestle. Zombies in the necromancer. The no, bear exactly. Is weird? Exactly. You're worried about a bear? So why did they dead. turn into the bear when we were getting mauled? All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He woke up one day a little more hairy. It's okay. It so there's to a all really good us. question. Why didn't you, you know, to go just become a bear and rah, or something? Whatever you do. Mm. <sighs> can you can you devolve? Victor, translate. <laughs> oh, all right. Um. Let's see. Can, can you really do that? Because I will. I will. Like I will message you if you can do it. And I'm so done. I will message you if you can do it. Actually, I have. I, 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 not, I don't know if this will work. If you have Wait, can we do animal handling? Sure we can do it. I, can you I do, do animal have, handling? Yes. I I do have the message <laughs> though, do, and he still technically understands his languages, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he can't <laughs> speak common currently because his mouth cannot form common words. But he can oh, understand right, coming. Has to, right, yeah, yeah, they have to actually... I think you're supposed to pin shit. the bear to prove who the elf is. Pin the bear to prove who the elf is? The mm-hmm. elf. Are you talking about, like, oh, the pin alpha. the tail on the bear? Oh. Uh, I don't know that Ro would like that. Ro, would you like that? So... Mm. No, no, kind of? Victor is, I'll like, I'll stand up on my super... back legs. <laughs> yes, big... It's just like super hyper focused right now. Give me a day and we can talk and we will learn to talk. Because anthropologists can do that. Uh, it's not technically a language. There are no words being formed. Oh my God. You can't speak it. It's not a it's not a language. Um, but can can because he, he's he learn cancel that like any time? A handful just, like, of important evolve? words, expressions and gestures enough to communicate on a rudimentary level with language. It's a bear. <laughs> I'm just saying it's, it's not actually words or it's it's a, I mean yes there's pantomime but it, it's all of the like gestures are like the verified version of common gestures right because Rose primary language is common right uh, wait yeah. instead of pantomime we'll just make it pandemime and then it's fine oh yeah no if it's pandemime that's totally cool yeah 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 <laughs> Okay. What happens next? So I turn back into the... row. Oh, thank God. So cool. That's pretty excellent. We'll have to wrestle later. Hell, you're 16, are you not? Yeah. 
I was younger than you when I picked up my first blade. Right? Yes, I look was... at you now. Exactly. Lysander seems awesome. Now. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Lysander thinks about that for a moment and goes, Yeah, kid, I am. I know. <laughs> Point is, it's dangerous business. It's yeah. deadly business. Yeah. But I know for a fact it's the most rewarding thing I've ever done. And Let's she'll look at the rest of you. Let's go have a chat with your parents. If they okay. say yes, if they say yes to me, you're coming with us. Okay. You're going to watch, and you're not going to do anything stupid. I won't. But we'll let you see how it goes. Okay. Smash cut to <laughs> Kavi. This idea seems stupid. <laughs> <laughs> About a half an hour has gone by. I'll go back up to the the barkeep. What can I do for you? Uh, like an ale, please. Of course. Yeah, one silver. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what makes this place the best tavern? Um, like you were saying earlier. You want to know the secret? Yeah. It's the only tavern. That is brilliant. Well, I think that. Uh, Swings the odds in your favor a little bit, don't you think? It absolutely does. <clears throat> Aren't you concerned about another tavern opening up in town? No call for it. Market won't bear two taverns. We've got a tavern, an inn, and a and a, a flop house. Enough places yeah. for everybody who wants to eat out to eat out. <laughs> <laughs> Lude. <laughs> also, there lude. did. Well, well, I suppose that makes sense. You got a bit good business here, then. No competition. Like you got a niche in the marketplace. Yeah, I like we, that. Clientele to the work. We our clientele to the work a day folk. Across the street, it's the nicer traveling folk. It seems to work out. How much does it cost to buy into a business like this? Uh, it depends on the portion of net worth you'd want to buy into. Oh, like 10%. Are you thinking about buying into this business? I'm thinking about buying into a lot of different businesses, but it depends on what fits best for my profit margin. Well, I'd have to talk to my partner back in Waterdeep. I'd have to send a message out to him. Uh, mm -hmm. And we'd have to talk to Jestrin as well. That's uh, unfortunate. <laughs> uh, it's fine. He he likes money as much as anyone else does. I and an understand. extra infusion of cash would allow some renovations, which would increase overall profit over time, I think. Fascinating. Fascinating. But probably 200 gold. Be about 10% of yearly take 200 gold well I think that's within my wheelhouse for sure I'll uh I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna think about that for a little bit make a perception check let it ruminate All right. ooh 18 plus 2 is a dirty 20 uh you only see the swish of skirts Heading out the back, but they are the same color skirts that were worn by Galita earlier. Hmm. I'm gonna, like down this AO real quick. Clang! <laughs> On second thought, I have a meeting that I forgot about. Of course. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> and I will like go out the front door super casually. Yeah, And then once I'm out front, I'm going to fucking sprint around to the back of the building. <laughs> and as you sprint around to the back of the building to attempt to catch this possible spy, and the rest of the party uh, tries to talk parents into allowing their child to become an adventurer, that is where we're going to leave today's episode. Will Pell become a hanger-on with this insane 
group of people Please will no. Kavi track down the spy Galita. Tune in next week to find out on a storm storm of four. I've been your DM Throck. Uh, let's go around and get shout outs and whatever's and thoughts on the game from everyone to see how you liked the game. Uh, starting with Don. Oh, no, we start with me again. I thought it goes backwards. What? Um, hi, everybody. I am Don. I am Jago. I am Lysander Ferex. And I am greatly enjoying guest starring in this. Um, I, I don't have much longer with all of you lovely people, but I will cherish every single second of madness that it brings. Um, you can catch me not on Welcome to the Party, on New to the Party, on our new Twitch channel. Uh, that we just opened up last night. Uh, we are running an airlock conversion of mine called Hyperdrive. We're playing some Star Wars. We're Star fighting Wars. space Nazis. We're, we're, we're blowing up TIE fighters. It, we're, we're, it's a fucking blast so far. So come on over to New to the Party. We have the first episode on Video on Demand. And we are back on Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, every week going forward. Nice. Thoughts on tonight? Uh, tonight was the fight was stupidly hard and very satisfying. Like, like I greatly enjoyed seeing everyone like come into their element, and I really fucking enjoyed like, like Caracas like going down, like getting back up. <laughs> like that was amazing. The whole like Victor like tactically retreating and then just like supporting us from afar. Um, Kavi actually using some very, very awesome rogue abilities to end the entire thing before we get overwhelmed. Like, it's just, everyone was super heroic. It's exactly the kind of, of, uh, fights that I like to see in D&D. Um, and, uh, just that, that was great. I loved all that. And the interactions afterwards were a lot of fun for me personally. I hope for everyone else it was as well, because I really enjoy everyone starting to get into the characters more. Everyone's starting to develop them more. It's, it's, it's coming across and it's great. I 100% agree. Uh, and it'll be sad to lose you. Mm. 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 Jack. Hey, everybody. Hi, I'm Capjack, or at Captain Jake Cross on the Twitters. And yeah, you can find me here on Friday nights on Welcome to the Party with these wonderful, wonderful people. I'm going to miss you too, Jago. Oh, my God. But also, um, come and see Jago on Thursday nights over on New to the Party, where I am one of the producers over there uh and we have a couple more games coming up we're going to have some announcements coming through very very soon as we have a new game starting on monday with an english second language game so look for some more information on that coming very soon uh as far as tonight yeah um that was a terrifying fight <laughs> Like when you drop level three spells, I'm like, uh, oh no! <laughs> it was the it was a big bad, yeah. Whew. But it's interesting to see. Hey, we're a pack of spies. Oh no, there's an, apparently another pack of spies in this town. Hmm. All and now a pack of spies. Do spycraft. It's gonna be great. I'm really excited about it, actually. So spy let's stuff. see. Let's play some spy versus spy and see how that goes. I love yeah. it. Okay. Was that it? Yeah. I was just being excited, excited. along excited. with you. That's all. Awesome. Sweet. <laughs> Dan. Hi. I'm uh, Dan Rand. And you can find me here on Friday nights with these people. And you can find me on uh, twitch.tv slash open for adventure on Monday nights uh, playing. Uh, <laughs> A fighter and that's fun Yay. um and then you can find me on my own channel on tuesdays and thursday nights still working out times to start not sure yet but tuesday and thursday nights on my own channel and tonight was really fun i like turning into a bear <laughs> i'm gonna have a lot of fun with that yay at y'all's expense i'm really excited for the bear very excited for the bear meg sup i am meg I ramble in the Discord like a doof. Um, I had fun. This is currently the only thing I'm doing. I am student teaching this semester and trying to not murder a bunch of sixth graders. It's going great. I'm loving it, but God, am I exhausted. Um, but yeah, tonight was great. Um, I... Penny's a lot more assertive today. 
she just was like, I'm here, we're doing the thing. So, I yeah, I was kind of excited to try and get her out there a little more than usual and try and test her limits of diplomacy and sneaky sneak, because I low-key forgot we were spies for a minute. Um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> that was a thing. Um, but yeah, so doing that, and I'm just kind of thinking of fun new character advancements for her and figuring out if I want to move the class or not. Ooh, yeah. I, I want to talk to you more about multi-classing, but we'll leave it as a surprise. Caracas! Chris! I forget, uh, me! Oh, wait, no, me! Right. Chris Rockus! <laughs> what is the difference? <sighs> bigger bigger teeth. Uh, what's up, everybody? I am the Chris Herzog on all social media, Judah Killer here on Twitch. Uh, yeah, uh, I agree with Don that the fight was the perfect, the perfect amount of scary. Uh, with people dropping and uh, coming back up again, uh, it was it was it just. I, I feel sometimes in five E fights can get on, that aren't very lackluster, but uh, that was a good one. Uh, it was well balanced and uh, had some scary moments too. I can't wait to look what's going on in fucking Discord as soon as I'm done. <laughs> but uh, uh, Chris wants thinks that we should go see our contact, but I think it's hilarious that uh, that we're going to talk to a. Uh, a little girl's parents to see if she could come adventuring with us as we go to hunt undead ghosts spirits. So. Yeah, because I'll just lay this trail of breadcrumbs and you guys can go that way. It's yeah. great. I love it. No, for yeah, me, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I really wish you had drank it out of the thing. That's just me, though. Anyways. Uh, uh, hey, listen, I, I, am not, I am not done with that bowl. Don't you worry. Okay, good. Good. Uh, I, I, it'll, it'll, I, you know, I like my callbacks. I'll bring it back. Okay, I'll good. I'll bring it back. Yay. But uh, Yay. I do have a website. Uh, I am a jiu-jitsu and MMA instructor by trade. If you're interested in that sort of thing, go ahead and check out my website. It is a membership-based website. It's got lots of cool techniques and stuff. Chris so, is and famous. Is www.zogopedia.com. Because Chris is famous. He's a little famous, that Chris. He, he's super famous. Like, super true, and he could kick your ass, just FYI, in like real life. He's a real-life monk. That's why he's famous. Yeah, Fight he's a real-life real life. monk. Yeah. Me IRL. Yep. Smurf! Hey everybody, uh, I'm Smurf. You can find me on the internet. Uh, I'm primarily uh, tweeting about stuff at DSC underscore Smurf. Uh, the things that I tweet about include sports, uh, D and D, uh, social issues, uh, baby Yoda, baby Yoda, uh, a lot of baby Yoda. I'm probably gonna go to Build a Bear and build that thing. <gasps> oh my god, I'm totally uh, gonna do that. Yeah, <laughs> like to build the baby. <laughs> Indeed, that's me. Uh, I stream uh, pretty much the perfect amount of D and D, which is every night. Um, it's true. So uh, you can catch me tomorrow on Dumpstack Charisma at seven seven thirty p.m. Uh, we're playing a Curse of Strahd campaign, Curse of Strahd Plus, called uh, Lost in the Mists. Uh, so you can check that out. Uh, and then Sunday, I'm going to be on uh, this channel here. Welcome to the party RPG uh, for uh, P PWN presents Slaughter, which is. Uh, uh, apparently a name that's banned on Twitch. You can't uh, say slaughter. You can't say slaughter. I don't know why. Slaughter? It's so weird. You can't say the word slaughter? Yeah. You can't say slaughter in the in the stream title. So In the stream uh, title, yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's a wrestling game. Uh, it's so much fun. Uh, last week, uh, I had a title shot as my character uh, that was interrupted, uh, and so I lost to disqualification. Or excuse me, I won but lost because of disqualification, so I didn't win the title. Uh, and I'm super upset and it's super drama heavy and it's super fun. And if you're a wrestling fan, you're going to absolutely love the stream. It's so much fun. Uh, come check us out. That's at noon on Sundays. Uh, and then I'm also on a bunch of other stuff on Dumpstack Stack and Solar RPG throughout the week. If it's a day of the week, I'm streaming somewhere probably. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Uh, Hey, oh, uh, t what? tonight, tonight yeah. was super awesome. Uh, I did a thing that I always hate that rogues do. And that's when they disengage from the fight and just go do their own thing. I love uh, it. And and I did that, and I I was like, oh, I just headed the fight. That's cool. Yeah, it paid off. It was, it was, <laughs> so, it was yeah. Awesome. yeah. It was epic. For those of you who have watched me DM before, there's always a, a kill trigger, right? Had you at any point in time focused fire on the necromancer, kill the necromancer, it was over. Right? There's Especially in things that seem really, really deadly and dangerous, there will always be a kill trigger, right? You, you just know that from my encounter design. I'm never going to put you in a situation where, if you think about it, there won't be a way out, right? So, like, the necro, the ne he's a necromancer, so he holds dominion over all these things. If you kill him, he gets a level one, they're all going to go poof. 
Yeah. Sit down. So it was amazing. Just, just I just want to let you know as players, right. like that's my, yeah. my philosophy as well. Um, is that I'm never gonna put you in a situation where you will be murdered um immediately <laughs> with no possible way out. Um but yeah, uh sweet. I'm Throck. Uh, can someone hit exclamation point sponsors for me in chat? Because their sponsors are amazing and you should love them. Check out Roll20. Check out Tabletop Loot. You can get 15% off dice there. You should absolutely do it with WTTP dice. Uh, and uh, so Nerdwear, it's what the nerds wear, where you can get sweet Welcome to the Party merch for 10% off using the code WELCOME. Uh, and with that, we're going to go raid Dice Priori, who is still going, and we love them madly. Um, oh, yeah, no, it is, be warned, it's intended for mature audiences, but I'm pretty sure we're playing Dungeons & Dragons, so we'll all be fine together. Give a big old welcome to the party, love, to Dice Priori as we go raid. Bye! Bye! I'm stupid, dude! Uh, spank me! Uh. <laughs>